Hey, hey! Ooh. Welcome, welcome, everybody. It is Friday, and uh, this is a brand new uh, experimental show, Friday Night Ham. Uh, threw this together for <laughs> this special event, and we'll see if it pops up some other times as well. But we have all kinds of fantastic uh performers, uh, musicians, artists. We've got all sorts of wonderful people tonight with this uh, women's celebration. Um, how are you doing, Carrie? I am so excited for this. Um, I have a special friend who's joining us who's kind of, uh, she's new to the community, as am I. But um, not only, I mean, I, I understand how she does her and her process, but I'm so excited to meet all these other women um, who are, you know, breaking out and trying to make their way in the independent music scene. And I'm just, I'm just so excited to dive in and learn more about that process and, and to meet right. more of these people and hear them. So I'm really, really, really excited. Right. Um, why don't we start with, uh, as you said, new to the community, uh, Julie, uh, real quick, uh, what what can you tell us about Julie? Before well, we bring okay, her? so um, Julie is a dear, dear friend. Um, I would call her family, um, and she she is kind of a marketing genius IRL, and she is completely new to kind of streaming and breaking into this digital world of independent music. And so um, I'm just really excited to see how she takes this and runs with it and what mm -hmm. she has to kind of share and add to the community. Um, her and my dad opened for Jay Leno uh, in front of like 12,000 people at the Beasley Coliseum mm, in nice. um, Washington. So like, and, and she, she hustled that. She, she's opened for the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Um, she just, her and my dad both did like this children's outreach where they would bring the equipment, they would record CDs member CDs. <laughs> right. Um, and I know that in a lot of ways, she has this mind for making a business out of music. And so I'm really excited to hear what she has to say and, and right. to just see how the interactions go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to uh, have her here tonight to meet her and to, uh, you know, uh, get to know her. So let's start by bringing her up. Welcome, welcome, Julie. Hello. Um, and uh, we are going to get into details with everybody, but we're going to go down the line and because we've got all sorts of fantastic people waiting backstage. We're going to go ahead and pull up everybody up. Um, I wanted to bring up um, the better half of uh, Pole Vault. Uh, <laughs> she is backstage. She's the prettier half, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we are actually streaming to uh, her channel as well, not just mine tonight. Uh, her first uh, live stream to her channel, of course, she uh, streams with uh, Pole Vault on the uh, Monday Night Hangover, and also uh, she's been a part of uh, past streams with the uh, Rock and Rabbit Holes with uh, me and uh, Carrie. Uh, but the amazing uh, artist, uh, she's a vocalist, writer, uh, and uh, just can't say enough about sunshine she's just so much fun uh we will uh bring her up right now Hello, welcome everybody. welcome Sunshine of my life. <laughs> You're just gonna be singing sunshine songs all all night, aren't I you? Am. You are my sunshine. I can't help it. I met a lady named Promise the other day, and I was just like, "That's oh, so good." <laughs> and I'm very happy to have you uh, streaming this show tonight as well, Thanks sunshine. For me, Chad. And I'm, I am super excited. First time out solo for you. Yep. Uh, so. Very, very cool. Did and, you lock um, the door? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Did you give him some cereal? Give him some cereal and lock the door? That's what right, I do right. with my kids. I'm sure it'll work with him. <laughs> He'll probably be dumping cereal on my head in a minute. <laughs> Payback. And, and uh, this next artist, uh, 
uh, everybody that watched uh, Jade's interview Thursday got to know her uh, quite a bit. But Liz a Day, uh, new to the community, somebody that um, I stumbled across in January, and I've been playing her on my show on Saturdays. But amazing, amazing artist. Um, and uh, she is a combination of uh, jazz and funk and rock and pop and trip hop and i just love so much of what she does uh, obsessed with some of her songs and um she has actually opened for pat benatar and uh does a fantastic so cool. pat benatar imitation uh i am talking about liz a day uh super super fan of her but uh we'll bring her up right now Hello, hello, Liz. Good day. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited you are here tonight with us. Uh, Me of course too. This is magic. <laughs> you are in uh, Australia, so it's pretty early Eleven, in the day for you. 11 a.m. Could be yeah. worse. <laughs> it, it really could be it really could be I love Australia. <laughs> but yeah no i'm super excited for you to be uh you know a bigger part of our community um and uh jumping right in with the doing the show with jade and now being here tonight i'm, I'm excited sure. this is wonderful thank you once we get into it a little bit further we're gonna have to talk about how you did the coloring on your oh yeah video, easy so. easy yeah. I, I i usually i do this thing through obs but i didn't okay. have the time to figure out how to put that together so i just went into camera settings and i oh. dialed back the saturation oh that's <laughs> it's it, it looks great i, I like I the vintage have, thing <laughs> it is my it's friend. very vintage that's why my eye was drawn to it <laughs> so <laughs> speaking of pat benatar my next guest it, it done a fantastic pat cover benatar? no she's oh. not here but you but my next okay. <laughs> guest did a fantastic cover of a pat benatar song it was actually a cover of a nirvana song that uh, i first she grabbed my attention and she's been on um, my show on Saturday as a guest and uh, she did a uh, fantastic cover of a Michael Jackson song for my Michael Jackson show. Big fan of her. She's bluesy. She's rocky. Uh, she's a little bit country. Uh, just so much fun. She is a, a rock star. She really is. Um, talking about Sid Carter West. Super excited that she is here tonight. Uh, huge fan hi hello, everyone hello sid hello sid hello. hi thank you so hi. much for having me um it's it's a great way to start the weekend so i'm really honored thank you uh, <laughs> i am very excited that you are here happy to see you again uh catch up with you and uh yeah this is gonna be a fun night really oh, yeah. fun um tabitha I, I i don't see her camera on i don't know if she oh she is there she's there <laughs> she was um so, uh tabitha mini reset there yeah Tab, tabitha tabitha reigns is here um gonna bring her up uh she's one of my very favorite artists uh since i discovered her and she keeps just putting out fantastic stuff uh like anytime i think that she's done her best work it's like she tops that she's it's like she's constantly growing and getting better and she was already amazing uh we're gonna have a field trip uh with liz a day and then also tabitha rains tonight i'm super excited about both of those um but uh right now i'll bring up tabitha Hi. Hi. <laughs> Trying to make Great. sure I don't knock everything over. Very weird to have. <laughs> Already knocked Great. over my mouse twice. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I should probably move my big cup because it's going to probably take a, but it has a lid, so we're good. It, yeah. <laughs> it survives all right. I just, I, my neighbors I, hate it. <laughs> I'm absolutely clumsy as well. Uh, I'm known to knock over like toys and stuff that I have sitting next to me as I talk and just, you know. 
move my arms around. So I yeah. totally feel you. Bobbleheads. Bobble yeah, I've already knocked out my internet once too. I actually Whoa. pulled off the cord. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. Oh, the magic the is stream. strong. <laughs> Um, and so for right now, uh, we do have one more uh, special guest uh, hanging out backstage. We will have uh, more joining us later. Um, we are streaming to uh, Katie Tidmore's channel. She's going to show up later. But uh, right now, Scars and Shadows is here. Oh. Uh, of course, Scars and Shadows is absolutely amazing. Um, her Her music is just like otherworldly i mean it really is and she is so much fun to hang out with uh she's been on the rocking uh, uh rabbit holes with me and carrie uh just a blast um i'm super excited she is here so i'm going to bring her up right now Hello, hello. Yes. I feel like the name. Hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you, ladies? How are I feel you like sad? her name exemplifies like how how you get to write really good music is with your scars and your shadows. Is that yeah? Is that a pull of inspiration for you all? Because that's yes. why I relate to really good music. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Am I echoing? No, you're good. You're okay. good. You are good. So, um, we do have a field trip. Um, we still got a little bit, so nine o'clock and then nine thirty. Um, right now about eight fifteen. Um, so do want to say hello to everybody that's hanging out in chat, and if any of you want to say hello to anybody that you see um, out there in chat, uh, go ahead and shout them out. Um, of course, early on I saw Maria, who is going to be joining us on the panel at some point. Um, uh -huh. And then uh, some, a couple of people over uh, early in uh, Sunshine's chat, uh, Ashes Antics, and Ash uh, and Dirk, and there's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna miss somebody. Yeah, well, I go know, ahead right? and shout Thank out you anybody you're in seeing my chat there. For coming. <laughs> <laughs> that, and, she nailed it. <laughs> and, 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 and Roque, good to see you tonight. Yep. Um, Roque, and, we got Tabitha, we got Michael Camilla. Songs. Yep. Uh, Pookie Snooks Ann. Oh, oh Pookie Snooks. Ann. Come Great on to see over, Snooks. Valerie. Thanks for coming out, Valerie. Um, Ryan Aunt, Hall, good to yeah. see you. Auntie at Jack. Yep, uh, good to see yep, you, Auntie. Auntie. Paul Vault, that Paul Vault guy. Um, oh, Mr. Vault. You can lock him out of the room, but you can't lock him out of the chat, can you? No. <laughs> Just kidding. I is waiting. And OG Sunshine, good to see you, OG. Oh, we got Sousa Palooza here. Rainfield Music. And DOA. DOA, he's, great to he's see you. He's risen from the dead to say hello. Hi, yes. DOA. <laughs> Son of Snake. Chris, good to see you. Uh, Viv Sparrow, great to see you. Oh. Um, Ax and Nacho. Oh. And. Yep, Pookie. Viv is awesome, by the way. I You, you yeah. turned me on to Viv. Uh, hello, beautiful Jack music. Oh, yeah, she is amazing. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she, she and, and, and Laurie's <laughs> Mishma, she's here um, I, on tomorrow's show. Of course, I'm doing a playlist of um, nothing but women artists. And of course, all of you are going to be featured. But uh, Viv is going to be featured um, and Laurie's Mishma. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of fantastic uh, women artists in the, the community here on uh, YouTube. All right. Okay. Well, uh, Ninja Drew 69, good to see you. Thank you, Ninja. Uh, Mindy uh, Pritchard. Uh, Jacqueline Mindy. Anthony. Lori's so. Mishmash. She's hanging out. She gave us some roses in the chat there. <laughs> and Mindy. I didn't, I know Carrie said hello, but hello, Valerie. Great to see you. <laughs> Can't help it. There's a song somewhere. I just need a minute to think of all of them. <laughs> all right. So why don't we just start this out, just kind of um, going around, um, have all of you kind of talk a little bit about yourself. So just a little introduction in case there's anybody watching that's not familiar with you. Of course, uh, Julie, I'm 
you know, new to you, you're new to me. Um, why don't you start us off, Julie, and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. And then if you want to play a song, you're definitely welcome to. Um, so go ahead. Um, just kind of give a little introduction. Hi, I'm Julie. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really new to all this streaming. Um, I've been doing music for so many years that uh, CDs were what we sold when we went to gigs back in the day. I'm actually going to be running some vinyl because I thought that one might be kind of fun. Um, nice. On our next, uh, our next album that we're putting out. So um, I'm from actually uh, Spokane, Washington and no carry very well um <laughs> and so, uh, the band that you're in a joy regime actually it's a they project were. that's about three years old now uh, i was in a duo uh, prior to that for almost 19 years Gosh, and was it that long yeah <laughs> was it really 19 years i mean and that tells you how old i am right <laughs> no no because that it was like yesterday i mean i mean maybe five years ago is <laughs> wow okay well anyways time flies doesn't it <laughs> years and uh so doing some a little bit of solo stuff which is uh um, really kind of scary for me because i've always had people you know right beside me so it's a uh, kind of an interesting thing to get out there and do it yourself so well, but, you're never alone when you come hang out with us. Yeah. Well, and, I, and I was going to say, from from the stuff that I've heard of your solo acoustic stuff, it sounds absolutely fantastic. So it's really hard, just because a, a lot of our songs, you know, you're so used to having the band play uh, music in the background, and you're you're waiting for that part to come in, and it's like, oh, it's not going to be there. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for being brave and coming out and hanging out with us, Julie. Well, I, I really, really appreciate I appreciate you guys having me, especially if you don't know who I am. So a newbie on the block. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's that's what we're we're all about, you know, supporting and, um, you know, sharing. Um, that's my big thing is that I, I love to find things that I love and then I just want to share it with everybody. And I'm really happy that, uh, you know, Carrie uh, brought you to my attention and said, hey, I know this artist and she's fantastic. So I'm happy you're here. And I would love for you to jot down everybody's uh, websites because I would love to check everybody's music out. So in my on my YouTube, everybody's channels are, are linked in there. Perfect. Um, and uh, throughout the show, I'll be dropping them in the chat as well. Wonderful. But, uh, yeah. So did, did you want to? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but no I'm worries. going to. Is that a stand-up bass behind you? No, that's my new cello. <laughs> oh, it just looked, I was like, I got sucked oh. in. Yeah, so we, we have a couple of songs. Uh, our, our keyboard player usually plays the cello um, on his keys, but we decided it'd be kind of fun to, you know, lock in an electric cello on stage. So we've been introducing some, some fun parts on that. She's yeah. so humble. She is probably <laughs> self-teaching herself the cello with like this dogged will driven determination that like <laughs> I know she has. So yeah. she she's downplaying it a little bit, but the, she's pretty fantastic and she's mm. very driven. I would love it if you would bless us with just a quick quick little song. Well, I would love to do that. Are we going to do uh did you want to do a live or did you want to play a recording? Well, you got you're, the guitar there give so us a live we'll, okay. we'll do the recordings in a minute <laughs> okay well you're gonna have to forgive me if um if my reverb or anything is off because again i've never done this before so <laughs> well that's why we want you to do it too so we can just we'll just break the cherry we're all taking right our, we're taking well, our live stream and if it's, cherry if it's performance. really off just like cut me off <laughs> no we'll just give you feedback we'll do better next time it's great don't worry about it <laughs> All right, this, this song is called On Your Side, and I wrote this actually for my daughter. Um, I'm sure a lot of you ladies out there, um, when we're writing music, we're writing things that happen to ourselves, and we're kind of like court recorders of the world, you know, seeing things that happen around us. And anyways, this song is, uh, was a dedication, is a dedication to my daughter, Hannah, and it's called On Your Side. Is 
It's a delay. Is it? It's not going to work. That's okay. You, you actually okay. have it. You, there's a recording on it, too. Okay. No, that's yeah. fine. I'm glad. Well, thank you for, like I said, thank you for being brave and giving it a try. And we'll, you know, as we go along, we'll get it dialed in. As sure. I'm sure. And, and these other on, lovely performers probably can. So on your side, I, I've got that queued up. We can go to that video. All good. Sure. Let's do it. Thank okay. you for giving All right. it a try. Okay. Here we go. Here's On Your Side from uh, Julie Stone Williams. If you're lost deep at sea, lift your eyes and think of me. Ocean waves will toss you here and there You can manage if you know Someone's on your side But you're trying to do it alone Can you let go of that pride? I love you, can you see? There's a buoy in front of me so take my hand and I'll pull you in I'll pull you in I'll pull you in Many years have come and gone Still your life goes on and on you feel the sharpness of the world Dodging bullets and keeping in shallow water You kept afloat But now there's water in your boat And it's taking you down Taking you down So you close your eyes So you close your eyes Just to blow away Deep at sea, lift your eyes and think of me. Ocean waves will toss you here and there. I'm on your side. That's fantastic. That was so good. Yes. I love it. Yes. Beautiful. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was beautiful. Thank you. I love the uh, guitar. So beautiful. Yeah, it sounded really good. It's really a new thing for me, uh, just playing guitar and not having a whole band behind me. Are you are you guys all bands or do you are you solo? So I'm solo. Now. I, I'm solo. <laughs> Mainly solo, but well, I, I do collab with uh, Pole Vault yeah. and some other people too. Let's say you're married to him, you're kind of stuck with that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we have all these like solo performers up here, and I just hope that you guys take this opportunity too to get in touch with each other behind the scenes and get to know each other because it's oh, such yeah, a great for way sure. to to um. Like yeah, each support other. each other. Women, yeah. Isn't that what Women's Month is all about, too? Yeah. I was, I was telling Sunshine, I'm like, I'm really glad that um, we have the internet because even if I'm not in the best of mood, I only have to get like this much ready. <laughs> like, you guys don't know if I'm wearing pants. 
<laughs> you know, I only curled, no, I only curled no, like knowing, three strands of hair. No, 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 no. Knowing Carrie, she probably doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Same thing. <laughs> just, you know, if I start to stand up, just tell me to sit down or turn off my camera real fast. Either way. <laughs> wrong stream. <laughs> yeah. So, but. Sunshine was going to go to you next. Uh, again, uh, just kind of give a little introduction to people watching that don't know you. Um, and I didn't uh, know I was going to have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to have to say something. <laughs> Um, I don't really know what to say. Um, so I've always been into music and art and all my life. And, um, but I've never really been on YouTube until what, about a year ago or two. Let's see. Let me think. No, it's been a couple years now. Uh, well, a couple years ago is whenever I started singing with pole vault right. and, um, just adding some stuff to mostly his stuff that he was doing. And, um, then last summer, um, you know, I've just never really thought about putting any of my own, just my own stuff, just by myself right. out. And so I just thought, why not? You know, so it was just a good outlet for, you know, emotions and things like that. So um, I just thought I'd give, give that a try and see how that went. And I just went with it. And, you know, I, don't, I really don't know what kind of music I make. Um, it's a little different <laughs> uh, from most of the stuff that I've heard. So uh, I don't know. I just, like I said, I just went with it and uh, thought, well, if people like it. They like it. If they don't, they don't. And it's just what I do. I, I kind of sing about just basically um, life experiences um, around me. You know, some of them are my own life experiences, but then a lot of them are just, you know, people that I know, stories that I hear. And I just <clears throat> put that to music and lyrics and and like that. So, um I play the flute. Uh, I actually know how to play the flute and was taught, you know, and then, uh, but I play a lot of other instruments too that I really don't know how to play, <laughs> but I just, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> so, right. Like I have a, I have a cello, we, you know, I have a violin, I have a, you know, I play guitar, um, um, piano, organ. Um, we have a lot of instruments around here. So, uh, and I just, basically do the best I can with, you know, just listen to it and put it into the software and put it out there. So right. hope it, and hope it, it comes and out. I know, <laughs> and I know Povalt's pushing you to do some streams with you, like performing, playing the flute and such. And you know, the other I'm day, board. The, the other day I actually made a short, you probably, nobody probably saw it cause I took it down really quick, <laughs> 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 but I actually put a short out of me, uh, practicing one of, one of our songs that we recently did. And uh, I was playing the flute, you know, live or whatever. And, um, I put it out there. And after I did that, I was like, Oh, I can't believe I just did that. And then, um, about an hour later, I took it down, <laughs> deleted it. Well, you, you, you are amazing. You are wonderful, and you so. should, you know, not be, you know, you know, feel that way that you got to take it down. You know, you, you should definitely right. be I proud just, of what you do. I've come a long uh, way. You, the fact that I'm even on a stream. Is, I know, I know. I, I, I am so happy. happy. I've been trying so to get far. you to do some sort of uh, stream uh, for the longest time, and then you started doing stuff with Pole Vault, and now to to be here by yourself, I'm I'm proud of you. So. I Baby love steps. it. And, <laughs> and for perspective, these people who are self-taught, okay? So I'm trying to self-teach myself the ukulele. And so far, I've dialed in strumming, those, yeah. kind of. Strumming. <laughs> Turns out strumming is a skill that must be developed, okay, folks? Because fact, my, my tiptoe through, through the tulip song is our ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh, it, And I, I literally just picked, like, the easiest thing I could. And, like, I get really frustrated just trying to get it to, like, strum, like, Forget about tuning it. Like, I, I, that's what I, I was like, okay, well, learn to tune it first, Carrie. But no, it turns out I just have to sit there and like just strum it over and over again, poorly, out of tune, because that's <laughs> step one. <laughs> it's trying to get a long enough sound to tune, turns out. <laughs> so props to anybody who picks up an instrument and can make like any sort of cohesive sound come out of it. <laughs> so we were going to play Spider Whip. Uh, okay. What could you tell us about that uh, song and video? <laughs> it's kind of a funny story, actually. Um, so every last year, there was a time where I was kind of like every week, every Monday, I told myself, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to put out a song just, you know, whatever, whatever comes to mind. 
so the day before, I think it was back in August, um, I was trying to think of ideas for a song. And so we have a chicken pen in the back. And every day I go out there, you know, take care of the chickens. And there was this spider that was on the door of my chicken pen, like on the inside of the door. And so every day I kept going out there and it, this had been happening over and over. And I would open the door and the spider would just like, ah, you know, <laughs> like he was acting like he was going to get me. And this one, so one day I said, you know, I'm going to write a song about you. <laughs> and literally, that's what happened. And so it. sometimes I'll make music first and then add lyrics. But that, that particular song, I actually wrote the, all the lyrics and then put music to it the next day. Mm. So, nice. um, but it was about him and how he was, you know, he was pl plotting and planning against me. He was going to do you know, dirty. And, that spider and eventually he did bite dirty. me in the neck. <laughs> So, <laughs> I bet you it's a yep. boy spider. I want. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna bet right there. First of all, he's all creepy but, and weird about it, and then he just like launches at you and bites you in the neck. I mean, <laughs> that is some dude uh, behavior there. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Spider web from uh, Sunshine Archer.
Yeah, so lovely. It was so, so trippy. Good. So I good. was not expecting it to be that trippy. I was expecting it to be a little bit more hard, I think, maybe. But I loved it. I was pleasantly yeah. surprised. Thank you for that. I love so it. So good. Trippy. Most of my music yeah. is pretty different. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. So cool. Uh, just taking it there, that indie place that is just, like, unexpected. And I got to admit... Um, we kind of met through Chad, sort of met, you know? Yeah. And right. um, I've discovered you that way. And I was just like, dang, you know, just like stars and shadows. I was just like, wrapped. I'm just yeah. drinking this <laughs> bizarre, lovely, luscious, trippy kind of, um, what's the word? Um, slightly Almost. disturbing. Almost. Yeah, I mean, spooky. I love that. Yeah. Spooky. I, this I is like my bizarre. flavor. I like yeah. Think, yeah, I like I I like it a lot. It's demented almost, and, and that's for me. That's a <laughs> high high praise. Yeah, right, right. Kind of distortion. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah very for awesome. sure. <laughs> but I, yeah, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Bold and brave. Yeah. Well, you oh. are up next, Liz. So. Oh crap. Oh, you can really see my winged eyeliner is like wonky. And no, it's really pretty. I like it. <laughs> it's good stuff. I like your mic too. That's fun. All right, thank yeah. you. Yes. And and Liz, she's gonna be streaming on YouTube soon, hopefully, because trust me, her her streams are just electrifying. Uh, she's been <laughs> kind of doing more private like Facebook streams here lately, but she is so good. But you introduce yourself a little bit. Tell everybody a, a bit about you. Oh dear. I don't like talking about myself. None of you do. Yeah. It's hard for all of you. <laughs> Why am I so shy? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, just, it's so funny because people can't believe when they, you know, know me as a performer, um, uh, an artist, and uh, and then I'm like uh, struggle. <laughs> but I'm, I am. I'm. I'm pathologically shy. And uh, I, what should I say about myself? I don't know. I'm I'm solo now after many, many years of um, not. Uh, uh, I. What inspired I, you to kind of make that transition? And oof. what has like um, this sort of environment or these sorts of platforms? What has that done for your ability to, be able Necess to do that? Necessity. Um, uh, the platforms. If I've been like really obscure, you know, just like. <laughs> uh, so yeah I, I i don't even i guess lately with chad discovering me and then jade and then all you lovely people uh i i'm feeling a bit seen now which is funny because i quit um i i quit making i mean i've been pumping out singles all for a year yeah. now so i've got two albums that are almost ready to go and then um, I'm working on a sync library and I'm also writing um, um, immersive uh, uh, musical live experience <laughs> is like more than one. So with all these singles, uh, but I'm working this full time and what inspired me to do it is necessity. And I also, um, I, I was stripped of my identity and displaced and I um, packed up and moved to another country and I, um, started from scratch at a certain age and <laughs> um, also uh, but I've, I've only ever done music for a living or art or any stagey things that's all I've ever done um, but I, I had my voice stripped of, my, of me I, I can't, uh, lost my voice to vocal cord palsy mm -hmm. uh, no known cause so far but I have my theories uh, I'm still <laughs> yeah. managing I'm still managing it uh -huh. um, but it changed my trajectory. I stopped, I had to stop performing live and and now, um, and then COVID happened <laughs> and I uh, started my channel. I mean, and, and um, I started doing a, a live show on Facebook just to um, hold vigil with um, yeah. people who were passing away and I couldn't go. Uh, it wasn't just financial, it was because I live in Australia and the borders were shut. And mm -hmm. I couldn't go to America to be at uh, the bedside. So, so I created a comedy show, um, and uh, yeah. So that's that's pretty much what uh, that's 
why I'm sort of here right now. But. <laughs> well, you, you covered such a lovely, and, and after we get through the introductions, I have like a little list of things that I want to revisit with it, kind of everybody, because you, you covered this really great spectrum of what it means to be human in a lot of ways, to be, to be shy, but also to, um, to flourish from being seen which is always kind of an interesting place to be, you know, and I can, I can, I think other people can probably relate to that. And, and in the ways that music can hold vigil and how um, kind of breaking out into a digital space yeah. can allow to you to kind of have that outreach, but you can be putting stuff out there all the time. And until you kind of get like that, that feedback loop, it, it feels kind of, mm -hmm. it, it's definitely for self and it's cathartic. But to be mm. seen is like icing on the cake or the cherry on top. And then, and then just kind of working through it, I think that's human, right? Right. It's inspiring when you're seen and appreciated. Like when Chad came forward and liked one of my more like movie <laughs> singles, I didn't expect anybody that had like maybe five clicks. I don't know. <laughs> And it, mm -hmm. One of them was me, and one of them was my mum. Uh, you know, I go and watch my own and thumbs up myself. I just can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I love that. So you, that's the thing is that like you're, you're talking about the hardest part, right? That, mm. Yeah, because I mean that that song is just so amazing. I'm, I really am. I'm obsessed with that song. And you know what? Oh my God! I was going to play it for me, right? <laughs> we are going to play that right now. <laughs> yes, because. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that hears this song falls in love with that song and falls Aww. in love with you. It's so, oh. so good. It so is. Good. It, it good. is so good. We're about ready to get some ear crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we, we'll definitely start off with that one because uh, that was a nice introduction to it. So um, the hardest part from uh, Liz a Day. And yeah, I mean, if you haven't heard this yet, be prepared. This is amazing. Yeah. It really is. So here we go. <laughs> Yeah. 
searching for a thread to hold you together and tether you down. Wake up, get it together, can I not have your head? It's the only way. Take a walk with me. I know you're tired, but I need you to make a move. Beautiful song. Fantastic. So oh, it really good. I liked it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to pop over to Sid super quick so she can go take care of some things, but she'll be back, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I love it. Yeah. So give us a quick introduction to you, Sid. Yeah. First, I just want to say, uh, Liv, you've got a stunning voice, beautiful song. Really enjoyed it. Um, as to you, as to you, I've just found you as well. Um, and I've been clicking on and subs subscribed, yeah. of course. So, Thank you. I will make sure to do the same for all of you guys. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I've been uh, singing and songwriting since I was a tiny little kid. Uh, so now, not so tiny anymore. I'm like 5'10", so I'm hella tall. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I've been... Uh, Gosh, music has been a part of my life forever. Um, and I studied opera for a long time as well. So very, like, hands-on with music for a long time. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Wait. That was, that was a moment. <laughs> I just I had a flashback to the, to the 90s real quick. Where, what, what year is this? Where, I'm just not vibrating. high school anymore. Okay. So, yeah. Back to I'm Sid. So sorry, Sid. No, don't worry about it. That was great. Um, that was a good song. Um, yeah, I know. So uh, I, yeah, and then I just got into the polar opposite of opera and got really into country. And then now I'm kind of like this blend of 
blues rock meets like outlaw country. Um, and yeah, I mean, now I've actually been going into the film industry. I'm currently studying uh, film for the next like three years. Um, and I recently made a short film that won a festival in France. So I'm feeling pretty pumped about that. And for going forward, I mean, I'm focusing a lot of my time in film, but with music, I now I'm just going to be writing music for my films. So, and my short film actually includes two um, never released songs of mine. So um, there's actually a, a moment in the film where I'm singing live. So, uh, cause it's, it's like a personal essay type story. So, but yeah, that's, Pretty much me. <laughs> well, knowing Chad, he hopefully has the information for us to click through and go watch that little film of yours. And well, we're going to watch the trailer at some point tonight. So okay, Yeah. So tonight, yeah. But, but you'll have the link so we can go watch the whole thing when we're... Well, the film isn't actually released yet um, because oh. uh, film festivals require exclusivity when I'm okay. submitting. Um, but I will be keeping everyone updated for that release date soon. Um, so unfortunately, there's just the trailer. Um, it's available under my film account, which is Story by Sid. Uh, you okay. can find that on Instagram as well, and all my updates will be on my socials. So well, I love that I just learned something new too. So I didn't realize that that was like a part of the the workflow for film development, if you will. <laughs> so thank you. Long <laughs> tedious process, but it's worth it. <laughs> so and 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 normally I would uh, go to a video of yours, but uh, we've got Phil Trip coming up from Tabitha, and I know you got to take off, but we wanted you to introduce yourself. So definitely come back whenever uh, yes, uh, you're, you're able to. Uh, we're gonna keep streaming until you know the party's done basically so we definitely will uh come back to you time. whenever uh <laughs> you know you you get a chance to to come back looking forward to it thanks yeah. guys okay okay all right liz, liz is all classy with her martini and i've got my big gulp <laughs> <laughs> have you ever tried a big gold martini so. <laughs> well here's the deal like martini glasses are the bane of my existence because yeah. <laughs> like i am like a spaz <laughs> I'm a how spaz. many have i killed i've, I've <laughs> killed many on camera so i just use it for right. Right. <laughs> so in in, back. <laughs> in four minutes here uh, three minutes. We're going to go to uh, basically a world premiere from uh, Tabitha Rains, uh, a cover she did of a uh, Lenka song, which this original song is awesome. Can't wait to hear this version. Um, he is great. What What was it about this song that made you want to do a cover of it, though? Uh, it's, just, it's just a really cool song. Like, Lenka, it has, really has a talent for writing great. <laughs> Oh, you're. We lost your mic. Yeah, y your mic's cutting out. It, it, well, I mean, it's just kind of like like you're talking through a tunnel. Really fast. Yeah, yeah, it we... went it went there real it low all of a sudden. Let me hear you now. Is it, do I need to get closer to it? I wonder. No, that's good. no. It, yeah, it was fine. It just kind of started to fade out. Like it was great at first, and then it got. Heck, annoyed. I don't know what's going on with this mic. <laughs> it's being stupid tonight. Will you, um, what's, what's, what, what do you mean by field trip? Chad, will you fill me in? Cause I'm like, yes. New. So we, and there are a lot of people probably watching too that uh, don't know what we're going to do is we're going to send everybody from our chat over to Tabitha's channel to watch this video. So okay. I've, getting... I've dropped the link in the chat. It's pinned to the chat as well. So um, we want to go over and basically be in her chat whenever the video actually uh, has its premiere. That way it gives it a nice boost as far as, uh, you know, the uh, oh, views for, for, for the video right out the gate. I love um, that. Yeah, and so what I'll do on my channel is I will actually have the field trip song from Lady Campion that is going to play the full time that we're over on her channel watching uh, the video. So, uh, this looks like 60 seconds, and then uh, she, I don't know if, what kind of uh, countdown that you have set up, Tabitha, but um, um, I don't probably like the to be honest. <laughs> probably probably like the normal like uh, two two minute thing. I um, think so. Yeah. I don't even remember. 
Yeah, but, it, it actually says premieres in 60 seconds. Notify me. Right. So everybody get over to uh, Tabitha's channel right now. And we will watch this uh, world premiere. Um, let's see. But since we do have a, a couple of seconds here, uh, Tabitha, why don't you just real quick uh, give a brief, uh, you know, introduction about uh, who you are. Oh boy, I hate doing that. <laughs> um, it appears I'm not alone in that, though. No. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't really know exactly how to, like, genre my music. Um, a lot of synth pop elements, even pop rock elements. But real, it's my style kind of jumps everywhere all the time. Um, but I think the, con the consistent thing about my music is the fact that it's always melodic and usually pretty atmospheric because that's just what i write, like to write and it can be kind of dark too yay yeah <laughs> so I, I would say that atmospheric melodic so there we go we're just going to start mm -hmm. we're petitioning for that you know the, the genre isn't it hard to classify yourself nobody oh, can like, what's yeah. your niche what's your niche i don't know humans i'm I still guess. i'm still trying to figure it out i'm yeah. <laughs> the worst part ones is, with ears would be cool the, mm, the worst part is ticking boxes when you have to go through things oh, and it's gosh. just like do you, uh it's so nice to feel the community here in that it's just it sucks so much it's like it doesn't yeah. fit. It doesn't fit. Yeah. Oh, it is very difficult. Oh. All right. So, everybody, are you over there, uh, ready for this video? I am. I'm over there. I'm and looking I'm in for the, the chat. link in our. Can we get a link in the private chat? Yeah. Thank oh. you. Yes, I will drop it in the private. Thank you. Uh, Thirty seconds. Ooh. Okay. Private chat link. There it is. Thanks. Dropping again in the regular chat. Perfect. So, twenty something seconds. So I am gonna go ahead and go to the field trip song. Yeah. If you if you do want to <laughs> jump out of Streamyard, you can come back in after the uh, the, the field trip. But uh, here we go. Let's go for a field trip. Permission slips all have been signed. Let's go for a field trip. We promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip Let's go for a field trip Permission slips all have been signed Let's go for a field trip We promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip Let's go for a field trip Permission slips all have been signed Let's go for a field trip We promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip Let's go for a field trip Permission slips all have been signed Let's go for a field trip We promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip Let's go for a field trip. 
Permission slips all have been signed. Let's go for a field trip. We promise you'll have a nice time. This talented artist will amaze you, and you'll hear your new favorite song. So please do come and join us. Don't you wanna be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip. Let's go for a field trip. Permission slips all have been signed. Let's go for a field trip. We promise you'll have a nice time. This talented artist will amaze you, and you'll hear your new favorite song. So please do come and join us. Don't you wanna be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip. Let's go for a field trip. Permission slips all have been signed. Let's go for a field trip. We promise you'll have a nice time. This talented artist will amaze you, and you'll hear your new favorite song. So please do come and join us. Don't you wanna be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip. All right. Wow. Uh, I love that. Was that was awesome. Thank yeah, you. That's awesome. Very, very that cool. That was great. Loved it. That was so good. <laughs> Thank oh my you gosh. Guys. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. I love this field trip concept. <laughs> <but. laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm going to make sure and uh, play that on um, my show tomorrow because uh, the ham show tomorrow. Uh, all uh, women playlist, and uh, so that song's going to be on there. Um, also, the one that we're going to go to of Liz's because uh, we got a field trip from uh, Liz coming up at uh, nine thirty. I have to apologize. I had my computer turned all the way down. I don't know if I interrupted you or I just came blaring. Uh, you're, out. you're talking. What the hell? <laughs> you, 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 you're good, Gary. I'm totally <laughs> used to you interrupting me already. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Carrie. <laughs> Instead of the interrupting cow. <laughs> oh, my uh, goodness. So, so, so next we're going to go to the Scars and Shadows and uh, get a little introduction Ooh. from you. And uh, you are muted. Let me make sure. There we go. Okay. You're good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you starting to fire over there? No, she's doing witchy things. I love it. <laughs> like my incense. She's, she's set in the mood, man. She's, she's like, got to get the so, vibe right. <laughs> give us a quick inter introduction to who Scars and Shadows is. A hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where the beauty comes from. I love yes, that. Yes, and sure. we love you for it. Thank you. Um I had a band and then another band and then I went solo 20 years ago. So that's as old I am. Um, I, <laughs> you guys are beautiful. I'm just like, I, I don't want to bring people down. I, I have a shitty life that I write shit about. That's it in the past <laughs> and I've conquered it and I'm doing great now. Everything is wonderful, but I, I tend to tune into stuff that breaks the world. The world's broken, and we all see it. I know we do. And um, I write about it, and that's what I do. That's me. That's it. And, and, and the writing about it and the acknowledging of it and the looking at things that are uncomfortable for us, what heals us. Yes. So yep. thank you for, for sure. Yes. And, and for all the work sure. that, that all the artists out there do because every Absolutely. little bit of creativity we put back into this world I is really so what – is it, it's like um have, uh, Harry Carey is what that Japanese art is where they break like the broken pottery and then they steal Kinsuke. it back together. That's Kinsuke. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like Harry Carey's. Harry right. Carey is suicide. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I, I, I forgot. <laughs> I was, uh, well, my, mentor, my mentor told me how They're to. Totally different. <laughs> Let's <Yeah>. just. <laughs> 
I may or may not have been listening to some Dan Carlin before I came on the stream, right. so I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, if you're watching, I'm sorry that I mispronounced Hari Kari. I, I can't remember how it's meant to be said. Yeah, no, I'm I I'm the worst ever, but I try. <laughs> it's effort. You show it up. We all show, show up. I show up. At least this much of me does. <laughs> so, so scars and shadows. We were gonna go to uh, with a voodoo doll and a, a torn dollar. I can hear you scream. Um, Anything you want to tell us about this uh, song before we go into it? Uh, yeah, but then she'd have to kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, a lot of people don't know this about me that I'm a witch, but I'm not. I don't do curses. I don't. I don't put out bad in the world. Um, I believe in energy. I believe in the spirit of the earth. Okay. Everything around us has energy and is alive, and it's up to us to tune into it. And it's there's the artists here who tune into that and even the ladies who are into magic you tune into it it's an energy it's a woman's force where we try to heal the world as to where others cannot do that and that's what i do um i i just tune into the energies around me that's it that's that's it <laughs> I'm weird. Well, you <laughs> no, do. I have you, my selenite wand, wand here. I just want you to make sure that you don't feel alone. That's my little selenite. <laughs> with, my, with my little, my little superpower crystal right there. My, my seven, super seven. And <laughs> and, you, and you do alone. absolutely amazing music. Uh, you Thank really you. do. And uh, very um, just otherworldly is is the only way to, to, to put the, the the music that you do uh it i tune really... into that other world that's why yeah yeah and it it, it, and it does it takes me places whenever i listen same. to your music yeah, yeah same 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 yeah. Thank definitely you thank you so much so with a voodoo doll and a torn dollar i can hear you scream uh by scars and shadows uh we're gonna go to that right now <laughs> hold me above the water so i can And a torn doctor can hear you scream. Save me from believing that my heart still might. Oh, yeah. 
so good Woo! so wow. good wow every time yeah. i get the chills every time yeah oh it's like it's right at, like there's these little buzzes right up the back of your right up mm. the back of your neck as soon as the music starts so beautiful yeah. it's beautiful it was Thank really creepy in a good way yeah <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> Yeah, and I, and I forgot that Carrie's not a big fan of actual creepy visuals, and it, it's unfortunate because no. we all, uh, almost all of us on this panel, love creepiness. Well, here's the deal: like I, I can go for the haunting, and I, I but I, I have to admit, I don't. I close my eyes and I listen. Um, because okay, here's, here's the deal: I was traumatized. Like, I was shown critters at a young age, and I know critters, critters. is supposed to be kind of like funny and campy, but like I was at the age where it was not, and I saw those stupid little eyes everywhere. I still don't love like dark. <laughs> so there's there's this truth about me, but um, I appreciate the beauty to that sort of aesthetic. And I love the dark. And it's, yeah, it's very healing for a Stars, lot of people. I have a question for you. Did you do that video yourself? Yeah. Oh, absolutely amazing. Thank Good you. job. Good Thank job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Again, always, every time. <laughs> and she's prolific. Yeah, she is. She is. Um, I wish I felt like you guys do about me. <laughs> oh, I love that quote. I will use it soon. Yes. <laughs> so good. Yeah. No, yeah. you you are so fantastic. You really are. I'm very um, insecure about all this stuff I do. Well, we, all, we are here energy. to 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 love you and lift you up Thank and you. and let you know how fabulous you are. Um, you have been very wonderful to me, and I appreciate it. Well, and you very clearly put a lot of um, energy vibrations into that because it's felt, you know. Yeah, and for so, sure. Um, not that there isn't in other people's, but it, it does have a certain sort of um, beyond its aesthetic and its sound. There's a there's a vibration there that that is Thank felt. You. So Thank yeah. you. It's very good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just want to give you a cuddle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing about the digital space. You can't group hug. together and have yeah. a night out. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so we've got 12 minutes to the next field trip, which is going to be uh, Liz a day. Um, before that, we're going to go to back to you, Julie. And um, we uh, uh, have a couple of videos uh, that I had queued up. For Can I, you. do you mind if I make a request? Yeah, yeah. Which one were How you thinking of? How about falling? Falling, yep, that is one that, that I would... did have, and that's uh, you with the the band uh, uh, Joy Regime. Um, talk a little bit about this song and uh, what uh, the meaning behind it is. 
Well, as artists, I think you guys all know, sometimes we can really get in our own head. <laughs> mm. And and of course, I know this is a little cliche talking about the rabbit hole, but that's exactly what happens sometimes when you're writing something. And I know my husband, he has, has to have a lot of patience with me as I close myself into my room and uh, get my, my pen and paper out and my guitars. And next thing you know, I'm you know, coming out 24 hours later, <laughs> crawling, crawling out. Water. Yeah, so this, <laughs> this song is called Falling, and I think that I, I think you'll all relate to it. <laughs> well, here we go. This is uh, Falling from uh, Joy Regime, uh, which is uh, Julie's band. So here we go. Falling, I'm falling 
So good. Is, so that good. That was awesome. That Beautiful. was awesome. I noticed some people were asking about the um, the folks in your band. Um, <laughs> Particularly quite a few comments about the drummer there. <laughs> and, and he's actually a student uh, over here at USO or uh, OSU in Oregon and just turned 21. So he, we had to get special permission to have him play in some of the bars that we were in. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet. And he's really kick ass. He gets into it too. I got the privilege yeah. of seeing him practice for a full day and it was great. What I was going to say is only less than 30 subscribers over on uh, Joy Regime. So anybody that's watching that enjoyed that, definitely go over and sub up. Uh, well, I would really appreciate John. it. I'm so I will be subbing. Yeah. Thank you, Scars. Yeah. So we have four minutes to the next field trip, which I have dropped the uh, link a couple of times. Uh, it's going to be Liz a Day's uh, latest uh, getting ideas. And uh, Liz, uh, before we go over and watch that, uh, anything you want to tell us about it? Uh, in oh, particular? my God. Um, yeah, it's one of those. Uh, uh, when I started being solo again, um, I, I, I was rehashing some, I never stopped writing, even when I was in the cover circuit spiral and everything that I've always written ever since I was a child. And um, this one I started writing in 2011 when my partner died suddenly from a brain aneurysm. And uh, I, I was uh, exploring the grief and everything like this and going through some pretty dark stuff. And um, um, so I, I took that old demo uh, and tore it apart and added my new me to it. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what happened. Self um, recorded all these in a sick bed, by the way, all these all these um, songs I recorded um, by myself in a sick bed because um, that's a long story and we could talk about that later. But uh, it wasn't just the vocal cord <laughs> palsy, but I have chronic migraine headaches that are debilitating. And um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, um, but I like the sound. Even on good days, I record in that bedroom because <laughs> there's this bedroom pop is a genre. Speaking of t ticking boxes, so <laughs> uh, well, hey, you know if we can get that as a genre, we can get anything as a genre, right? Pretty soon it'll just be like just write a description. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I making us they would, those boxes, boxes. I wish they would do. And um, it's a darker one. So um, that being said, it's kind of an inner conflict sort of song. Um, which I do a lot, talking to myself, like uh, hardest part that was to me when, uh, when, when he died. And, um, and then again, with all these other family members and, and people uh, passing away on me, it's hard being mortal uh, it is, <laughs> and it watching is. that happen. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much a lot of grieving songs and this, there's, there's a, quite a bit of that in here. The, the beauty of grief though is we do come out the other side of it kind of a different person and alchemy of the soul it's it yeah really, you, thank yeah. you that's beautifully yeah. put because yeah. um, I, I know that in my grief experience i came out the other side completely different too and i know julie can can relate mm -hmm. by the way sid is back so welcome back oh. sid hi uh, sid is back welcome and, back uh, after the uh field trip we'll definitely be uh play one of uh sid's uh tracks um Talk a little bit about the um, the 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 stuff o over the face, which you, you did the Billie Eilish video with the same yeah. type of style. Uh, what what was going on with that? And uh, what was uh... <laughs> too easy. I'll try to keep it brief because I can get wordy, um, especially when I'm a bit nervous. Um, uh, so I was uh, I recently did a video called Family. We might watch today. I don't know, but it, I, I was putting a call out to anybody who wanted to be a part of a blur of faces for a song about humanity and people just being a big family, you know, because we all are um, residents of the earth. And it's like stop fighting, everyone. Um, yeah. <laughs> kind of just my little hippie wish, you know, for love and unity. But. Um, so uh, I, I put that out there and I just had a very underwhelming response and I needed billions of pictures because I was doing a very fast edit stop motion. I wanted a blur of diversity for like less than three minutes song. <laughs> and uh, and um, so I went to a site to, I wound up uh, using uh, uh, one of those sites, stock footage sites and um, mm -hmm. 
for some diverse faces. And um, I, uh, I saw this one of um, a woman who had uh, pantyhose grips on her face. And I was just like, oh, that's I'm totally going to pinch that. And I did. Mm, nice. It's really good. It's yeah. a great picture. Our character for the story. And you can't right. outward, outwardy me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I have all the words. I'm, all I'm the holding time. my horses tightly. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we got like uh, two minutes or so. Yeah. So. Oh, how's that? <laughs> That's the usual countdown that uh, they do on the world premieres. Because this is actually the first time you've done a world premiere, right? It is. I'm such a noob about all this stuff. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just an old weird hermit, you know, and I'm just learning all these things, particularly in YouTube, all the features. I'm like, I oh, don't know, that's for people with millions of subscribers. I don't, you know, I don't know anything about anything. They're the, they're the best kind of weird, though. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. It's Thank great. You. It's fine. Um, and I can relate to the hermit thing. And that's that's part of my new identity, really, that I didn't know about myself until my series of unfortunate events followed shortly by COVID. I was like, oh, I like being alone. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. Everybody's always told me what a people person I am. So I thought I had to be around people. Turns out they are exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> the social battery is like, meh. Oh, it's exhausting. I can, yes. only, I can only hang for so long. But, you know, in the right company, then it's not as draining, right? No. Yes. It's just trying Indeed. to fit in somewhere. Yeah. That's, that's, that's too much. Yeah, I can't. I, can't, I have very uh, short... Uh, uh, patience for that kind of a situation <laughs> so we got 19 <laughs> seconds everybody Thank get you. over to that field trip uh All drop right. that link i am gonna play the uh field trip song here Perfect. Uh, here we go Do 10 it. seconds so everybody get Whoa. over there i'm going i'm going let's go for a field trip permission slips all have been signed let's go for a field trip we promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip Let's go for a field trip Permission slips all have been signed Let's go for a field trip We promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip Let's go for a field trip Permission slips all have been signed Let's go for a field trip We promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip Let's go for a field trip Permission slips all have been signed Let's go for a field trip We promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip Let's go for a field trip Permission slips all have been signed Let's go for a field trip We promise you'll have a nice time This talented artist will amaze you And you'll hear your new favorite song So please do come and join us Don't you want to be cool and belong?
Let's go for a field trip. Let's go for a field trip. Permission slips all have been signed. Let's go for a field trip. We promise you'll have a nice time. This talented artist will amaze you, and you'll hear your new favorite song. So please do come and join us. Don't you want to be cool and belong? Let's go for a field trip. Alright, all right. Bravo. So good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> like Sid like Sid said, uh spicy. Uh <laughs> I love spicy. A... <laughs> I'm in love with that I'm in love with that outfit with the with the thing on your face. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. Oh so yeah. wicked. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> it was a punishing shoot because uh it was stinking hot summer day here. Yeah. Um uh, <laughs> So, and I had my swimmers on, so I'm like, oh, look how vulnerable I look. Maybe I'll, you know, do a well, you a it, it added to it. it it's so sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the worst of that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting hot over here. Getting hot. Oh She's going for the Beyonce hair. <laughs> and and um, it, it kind of gave me a little bit of a Wizard of Oz uh, Wicked Witch vibes, too, though. Good. with the hat and everything so totally yeah yeah that's yeah. my new um alter ego that i've developed <laughs> yeah. i love it yeah it's, no, it's awesome thanks so sid since you had to go and now you're back we're definitely gonna uh go to uh one of your videos and um Ooh. let's see the 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 ones that uh you sent me and then queued up Hang on, I'm just looking real quick. Oh, House of the Rising Sun. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Awesome song. Fantastic uh, cover of this. Um, what, what's your process in, you know, uh, songs that you decide that you want to uh, cover? Uh, once a month, I, <laughs> I go through, like, like throughout the month, like, and, like every month, I kind of write down songs that I listen to, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if I would be able to do this one so i kind of like write it on my to-do list and then by the end of the month i go through that list and i sing all of them and see which one kind of like matches my vocal range or like if i need to change keys um can like does that make sense with my voice and the genre that i'd like to do and then sometimes i just like to try to make it my own and go for the challenge but um mm -hmm. this one it felt very like at home um mm -hmm with like genre and range because I'm definitely more on like the lower register. Um, but yeah, there's just something super spooky and haunting about this song. And uh, I like to say it's like hauntingly beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. And there's just a lot of like pain and emotion that goes into this one. So I really wanted to capture that instead of right like the more full band kind of sound that the original, the animals go for. Um, mm -hmm. I really wanted it to just like slow it down a little bit and get really into the gritty emotional side of it. Fun okay. fact too, um, I directed the video and I got my amazing classmates uh, from film school to help me film this one. So I'm nice. I'm pretty proud of this one. Yeah, awesome. yeah, this is good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love what Very a person cool. can do vocally with House of the Rising Sun too. It's one of my favorites to sing, and 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 I don't have musical talent or video talent, so I karaoke. But but it is one of those where I look for some of those more obscure covers, and then the karaoke version of it because I do like to play it out and stretch it out and and let my voice do the things that it likes to do with that song so i'm right. excited this is one of my favorites yeah yeah, yeah no it's it. fantastic um and one thing i wanted to say though before we play this is that your 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 combination of of of, of like kind of southern rock and bluesy and and, and country and 
to me, I'm from Southeast Texas. I always feel like listening to you sounds like home to me. It sounds like Southeast Texas, but you're from Canada, so <laughs> it's pretty crazy. But I, I absolutely love your sound. Yes, I'm from uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, so I'm like way on the west. Uh, right. No, you're not. You're not that far from me. Yeah, I know. I, I know. So I'm, I'm, I'm way yeah. up there on North Idaho, so like I'm. <laughs> Yeah, you're cool. Yeah. You're, you're the so, neighbor. I, so I always say, because people are always like, Idaho, are you guys mountain time? And I'm like, no, I'm like southern Canada. I'm not really <laughs> Idaho at all at it's that true. point. Because like we don't grow potatoes. Our potatoes come from Washington. <laughs> you know, like we are like the least Idaho part of Idaho. <laughs> So yeah, here we go with the uh, House of the Rising Sun from uh, Sid Carter West. Uh, fantastic. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun, but it's been the ruin. Oh, many a poor boy And God, I know a man So good. So, so good. Wow. 
Thank you. Go. I love it. That yeah. was so fun. Yeah, that was so awesome. Fun. And now I want that version to sing to instead of whatever I find. <laughs> but I have to, I'm going to have to chorus some poor karaoke creators. I wouldn't even attempt to sound that good. <laughs> I, Sid could probably get you the, uh, you know, a version to do karaoke. That yeah, would be just fun. Stick some lyrics on <laughs> yeah. that, bitch. I will sing it every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And to no, answer, uh, to uh, answer on the comment uh, Tabitha made regarding bo vocal effect, yeah, I wanted to enhance like the grittiness of it, so I kind of put like this reverb uh, old microphone effect on it. Yeah, it was really cool. I love that effect. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. Editing this video though was super fun. Like I actually added. Um, that is my dog. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, I actually added um, this like thunder sound in the background. It wasn't in the original recording. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought I that would it. kind of be a cool effect to add. And then I created like this shakiness on the camera. So it was like super fun. <laughs> it was no. It yeah. Was so that's good. Awesome. What kind of Thank dog you. do you have, Sid? Uh, my parents have. <laughs> my parents have Husky. a miniature schnauzer the one that's whining right now um yeah she's a puppy but she's a big puppy um jewel jewel come here she's a uh she's an australian um uh cattle dog with a mix okay. of husky hence the so she has the husky howling. in there somewhere she's Can like it's my turn to sing to are you singing I, sing. dog. I will show there they are Oh yeah! Oh, hi, baby. oh I love that. This, little... is, this is the whiner. This is the whiner. Yeah, yeah. The he's, the, he's the whiner, and then oh, this one's like, also pretty yippy too. He looks so like an old man, but yeah. Like, I'm just providing backup vocals. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm exactly talented. right. I could totally add her little vocals. She's very, definitely. She's very vocal pooch. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, good. Sunshine, we're going to go back to you. Uh -oh. It's been a while since uh, we've heard from you. <laughs> we're <laughs> looking at that. Is, uh, <laughs> is, is Povalt doing okay? Is he not burning down the uh, house or anything? I don't smell any smoke, so we might be okay. She's right. like, I took all the knobs off the oven. We're, we're good. Where's your wine? And... Uh, we were gonna play from you. Let's see, which one was it? Uh, you said. Um, what can you tell us about uh, you said? Uh, well, you said has a couple of different meanings. I mean, it's it's a song that I think a lot of us can relate to because you know most people have been in multiple, you know, not just one relationship their whole life, and so you know most of us have been lied to at some point. You know, you know where we thought things were a certain way and then they were not at all. And so it's kind of about that. Um, I actually wrote it uh, for a friend of mine. Uh, she was really going through a tough time. A guy, she was in love with him and they, she thought they were in love with each other. And then he just, you know, he had promised her he'd always be there and all this. And so, and then he just got up and left. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so um, I wrote a song about it. So it's yeah. called You Said, and it's about, you know, people basically, you know, lying to you and promising you the world and just you know one of those yeah. it's life <laughs> i think we right all <laughs> yeah i think we can all identify with that <laughs> and we all know it's about pole vault that's okay you don't have to say that don't... <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um I'm listening on all three channels i can hear you <laughs> He's going to come in the room and I heard you, Tad. Uh, you did um, a really good pole vault impersonation, by the way. You sounded, did you not just sound like him? I heard you, Tad. It was really so, good. Here is the uh, You Said from uh, Sunshine Archer.
so good. And I want to say I love um, – because you did this with the the first one and on this one, I love how you'll 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 hold the the visual, and then uh, you know the music. I'm hearing an echo. I don't know what's going on, but uh, <laughs> you'll keep the visual up and then uh, fade out the music, and I love that. Thank you. I'm I'm a noob, so I'm still. I don't know. That might be me. I hope I'm not. What is that? <laughs> Is that you, Carrie? <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm exited out. I'm, I'm exited out. So it's not me this time. Is that you, Carrie? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Somebody has a cabal. I'm getting held up. <laughs> you know what? I'm sure it's Povall. He came in the room while that video was playing, and uh, he did that. So. <laughs> All right, everybody, check your tabs. Oh. Oh. What is <laughs> Chad? You too. It could be you. You never know. It's it's not me. It's not me. Maybe if you mute mute everyone else's mic, that's the problem. I don't know. It's it's not me. It's scars and shadows. I did it. <laughs> Mystery solved, Scooby Doo. If it wasn't for those pesky teenagers, we would have gotten away with it. <laughs> we would have gotten away with it, Scars. Scooby Doo. See, I mute her and it disappears. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> yep. so you, do you have a tab open or something, YouTube? Scars, you have a tab open on your YouTube, so you have to close that. No, I haven't. Let's do anything. Do you have a tab open or... It I... goes away when we mute you, so we we yeah. we had to uh, solve it. <laughs> By the way, we do have another guest here that is joining us. Um, looks oh. like she's still getting everything ready. Okay, you she's good to go. So, um, uh. If you're part of the community uh, at all, you know who Michael Songs is. Uh -huh. And um, behind Michael Songs is the uh, amazing Maria. She's basically the uh, producer, the promoter. She keeps his streams going uh, and uh, is instrumental with uh, all that he does. Uh, she's also a lot of fun. Uh, Maria, she is uh, just an amazing person. Um, so super cool. So she is joining us tonight. Uh, so let me bring her up. Hello, Maria, hello, Maria, Maria. She reminds me of a West Side Story. <laughs> I gotta tell you, that's one of the best things about being named Maria is that people sing to you all the time. I bet, I bet, I bet. I only have a couple songs about me, but <laughs> I'll, I guess if not Mar Maria Carey would be okay. There's, there's a couple of Carey songs. That's a good one. So good to meet you. You don't have to stand. Just is this a, like a, a homage to um, Michael? Uh, you're gonna do the host uh, stream standing. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. we'll see. it's where the camera is set up, Chad. Come on now, <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's, it's their streaming spot. <laughs> a good producer never messes with the set. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. You got a good point there. You got a good point there. <laughs> Find something that works and you leave it alone. <laughs> so, um, real quick, what what can you uh, tell us about uh, who Maria is? Oh my, um, I'm curious, clever, and creative. Is that quick enough? Wow, there, she, there we go. She's hired for marketing for future. <laughs> Spit that out faster than anybody so did. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Like you're ready for a full on interview. I love this. Yeah, she's like, I gave you my I gave you my one my one sheet, right? Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah. she's she's definitely the 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 person behind uh, Michael Songs who who keeps him in check and and you know uh, takes care of everything. So uh, I I know that she's definitely you know here and ready for whatever we throw at her. And you're in charge of wardrobe when it comes to Michael Songs too, right? Because he is on he's on fleet. He's really on point with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I can. That. He dressed like that before I met him. <laughs> and, uh, 
I dress like I'm in production 24 seven. So I have black <laughs> t-shirt, black pants, black jeans, black hoodie, black shoes. Like Makes shopping pants. easy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Makes it easy to Good see. Decisions. Yeah. Me and, uh, you know, all the rich guys. I was gonna say you, Steve Jobs, and Sam Bacon Freed. You got it nailed. <laughs> they followed me, actually. I was yeah, like, I was gonna say they saw you in there. That, that's a really good idea. <laughs> like that girl's got it going on. Smart. Well, smart cookie. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for joining us tonight, Maria. And we do have another special guest who is uh, just now joining us as well. And um, she is the uh, amazing country voice of the community. Uh, as soon as I heard her voice, oh, just so fell in love with uh, Katie Tidmore. Uh, has one of those classic uh, country vocals that um, Allison Krauss is uh, who I instantly thought of. But uh, going to bring up Katie. So happy that she is here. Hello, Hi. hello, Katie. Hi, Hi, everybody. Hello. And happy that you have joined. Of course, Katie is actually streaming on her channel. So mm -hmm. we definitely want to uh, send everybody over to say hello to her chat. Um, I'll drop that link in just a second. Um, while Katie is uh, telling us a little bit about herself and, uh, you know, the music that she does. Ooh. Can y'all hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Because I'm I'm not good at this. <laughs> oh, um, said every. Okay, I don't know if you watched the stream to this point, but let me just ease your mind. <laughs> said every person in the hot seat so far. I am so bad at this. I really am. I've been running all day long, softball practice, baseball practice, every practice you can possibly think of. That's what I've been doing. But um, my name is Katie Tidmore. Um, I sing country music. I write my own songs, and I've been writing for a really long time since I could hold a pen. I can't remember a time in my life when I wasn't writing. Um, I really enjoy singing, and I love writing. It's like therapy to me. And I've got I've got three kids. I've been married for twelve years. No way. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call bullshit on that. There's no way you look old enough. To <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying. I was trying to just listen, but I, that just caught me off guard. Keep going. <laughs> I, I it's true. Um, let's see what else. I don't know. I'm a pretty boring person. Really said every other you, person in that you, hot seat to this you, point too so you, you're not alone in that either <laughs> you are amazing katie you really are uh such a voice um and and since you are just now joining us uh we're gonna go to one of your uh songs uh just love everything that you do um go to the the wild one first uh anything you want to tell us about this song before we play it um, I guess I wrote this song just, I really don't know why I wrote this song. I guess I was just like trying to, everyone's always called me wild. So I guess that's why I wrote the song. <laughs> She's like, it's, it's a projection everybody has about me, but really yeah, I just like and, to eat you Cheetos. Know, sometimes it's really hard to be, because no one really understands you when you're the wild one. So that's why I wrote this song. Right. Gotcha. I'm not the wow one. I'm always the one, though, that, that gets blamed for everything. So, uh, <laughs> you know, the it's scapegoat. Not your fault. Yeah. scapegoat. <laughs> it's not your fault, Chad. We're just going to blame you. It's going to be fine. <laughs> so here is the wow one from uh, Katie Tidmore. Keep on running, running from something, never knowing what. I think that it's a combination of always 
on that was insane i loved how the music traveled through my brain it was great <laughs> that was very good I'm gonna, I'm gonna flat out disagree with chad it is nothing like allison krauss allison krauss has like <laughs> this, this like airy kind of flighty um it's like a, a, a detached voice your voice what i'm trying to get to is <laughs> you're more grounded and like full-bodied than allison krauss when it comes to the sound i agree with that yeah, it's it's definitely um, less Alison Krauss and more like a modern Patsy Cline or something. Like it's it's well, just it's I couldn't really think amazing. as far as if you talk about like, <laughs> like classic the only country, country singer vocals. I know is Alison Krauss, so that's why I said it. <laughs> well, yeah, if I say like Patsy Cline or somebody older, it's 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 not you know the most modern I could think of that compares to like classic country vocals. Uh, would be Allison Krauss. So. Okay. Well, it did kind of have a Patsy <laughs> Klein feel to it too. So I'm still going to say, mm, I, as as a co-host, <laughs> this might be our first fight. But I agree to disagree. <laughs> and totally fine. <laughs> totally fine. I love your lyric line, calling yourself out of, on a personal level. There, yeah. saying that you're the problem. I mean, I think a lot of times as I get older, I'm realizing uh, I'm the I'm the problem more often than I've had realized before. At least 50% of the time, aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Great lyrics. No, my I think my favorite line, I and mean, I was singing along with it by the time we hit the end. That's that's the beauty of it is, um, but I like the part about uh, being a problem for everyone else. Like I can like feel that line and like at this moment in time in my life right now, I'm like, well, okay, so I'm not like wild, but I am the bigger risk taker in my little circle. And people are always like, you're nuts. What are you doing? Why would you not, why would you do that? Why would you take that chance? And I'm like, I, I, I have no answers for that. I just, I guess I'm the wild one. <laughs> but your song made me realize like, maybe I am the wild one. And also I feel it <laughs> so good. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Voice of an angel, as uh, Rice and Peace yeah. in the chat said. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah I appreciate cool. all the love from the chat. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. I love y'all so much. <laughs> chat is so good. <laughs> I can't wait to go listen to the rest of yours. And, and also, oh, I'm going to sing at karaoke oh, as well. Like I said, she, I was already singing along. 
<laughs> she she is so good. Yeah, um, Chris uh, Lane Sr. was mentioned in one of our other songs, uh, which is actually one of my favorites, Outrun the Sun. Uh, we'll hopefully get to that uh, here in a bit. Um, but uh, also, since Maria is here, uh, Maria did send in some pics because uh, uh, she's not a um, you know musician or singer herself, but she did send over some um and um we were gonna play some of those as well of course one of them does is a michael song song that uh lady campion sings which uh you know is uh you know lady campion has been been invited to perform if she wants to come up here and sing tonight but um yeah we're definitely gonna play this uh fulton ridge um such a, a fantastic song to start with uh from michael and then for lady campion to sing it just really just elevates it. so so linus how did you do the production on these i mean what was tell us the story of that why did you choose these songs <laughs> oh i got her look at that i got her <laughs> boom mic drop um, job done i well i mean i really like lady campion as a like as a person she comes across as somebody mm. who's really genuine but also like like strong and like but sensitive and sweet at the same time mm -hmm. um, same. michael has those same qualities as well you know so Aww. um i think that the two of them getting together on the song which is very meaningful like this song was like one m many of michael's songs songs um, are not about him um, or experiences that he's had but this one was and uh, the song is near and dear to his heart. So I thought it was sweet that, you know, the person, and I think this is his, your first duet, right? Um, so his first like duet song that it would be someone that, you know, also like it was, Lady Campion was one of the first people in the community that he connected with. Um, so we have a special connection with her as well for that. So there's a lot of like right. love in this song. In addition right. to being kind of a pretty obvious love song. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, Fulton Ridge um, is original by Michael Songs, and uh, this is uh, with Lady Campion. It is so good. Uh, here and we go. And it's not as obvious a love song as you think, and I'll just leave it at that. No, no. <laughs> All right. And here we go. <laughs> was the last time I would have stared a little longer I would have held your gaze examined your face that little scar by your eye the stub around your lips unbutton your cufflinks Of your arms, I cannot resist saying I love you with every beautiful oh yeah, it's so good it is 
that was, <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. What I had to do with it. So in addition to it being very special, um, Michael did use my equipment and I taught him some of the software uh, to make that happen, <laughs> the song and the video. So that's right. fantastic. Yes. Yeah, you were inspiration to the completion of yeah. it because I, I don't know, I, I've known some artists in my life. I've grown up around music. Can't do it like other people have picked it up through osmosis or whatever. But, um, <laughs> oops. Um, what was I going with? I got distracted by the, yeah. Well, I, I want to say the same thing. Like, I've dated musicians my whole life. I've taken, many of you know this, but I've taken, um, musical lessons in piano, voice, uh, trumpet, uh, accordion, clarinet. I was in band for like five years in clarinet. And I can't, I don't know anything about music. I can't sing anything. Like I know when something doesn't sound right and that's about the limit. So I hear you. Like, <laughs> it's just not yeah. I just, <laughs> but I have so much appreciation for it. Yeah, I'm right. here to support it because I, I it's hard to, to write the things and do the things like um, for all the humility that we have on the stage right now. Um, you guys have to realize this is a really special skill and it's healing and it's cathartic. And it's, oh, yeah. it's, I mean, sure. every, every moment, you know, even when you guys don't think that you're doing that great or, or when the video is not good or, or when you kind of move past that point in your life, um, that it's no longer as relevant it's coming behind you and healing people that come across it as they go so it just it resonates out it ripples out and it really just it sure. means something and meeting the people and having the conversations with the faces behind the music is even more special you know right. yeah definitely definitely um we are going to go to an, uh another video from tabitha and then um, after that, we'll go to Scars and Shadows. Um, but I wanted to ask everybody, uh, and we can kind of just go around the uh, panel and everybody can kind of, uh, you know, share uh, who they feel. But um, it's Women's History Month. So I want to talk about, uh, you know, women artists. Uh, who are some of your, your favorites of, uh, you know, all time, just, uh, you know, women artists, whether it be singer, uh, our uh, songwriter, uh, guitarist, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, who, who would you say are some of your favorites, some of your influences, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, so Tabitha, uh, who would you say? Uh, Tori Amos is really good. Uh, she, she's a, so good on the piano and such a good singer, like just fantastic songwriter. And another favorite of mine is Lady Gaga. She's actually my favorite, I think, a uh, woman singer ever. Right. She's awesome. Yeah, no, Lady yeah. Lady Gaga is absolutely amazing. She mm -hmm. really is. Yeah. Um I don't know if you noticed. Uh me and uh Liz were actually talking about uh, Lady Gaga <laughs> on American Horror Story, so I made sure to bring out my Lady Gaga oh, wow. American Horror Story pop. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so what about you, Liz? Um, I know Pat Benatar oh. is a big one, but uh... yeah, that changed the trajectory of my career <laughs> when I discovered that toughness. But um, uh, I'd say Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald, yeah. uh, and um, uh, Roberta Flack, and uh, <laughs> let's see, um, Erica Bardu. Um, nice. Uh, I know I'm forgetting heaps, but um, uh, <laughs> Billie Eilish. I oh like. yes, yeah. yes, definitely Billie Eilish for me. I, I really like Fiona Apple as well, and Kate Bush, huge influence on me. Yeah, Kate Bush is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Julie? I was going to say Kate Butch too. Uh, I actually loved her before uh, this last little ep episode, uh, you know, of her last. And Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. 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 Stranger <laughs> Things really brought that back to life. But uh, when she was singing with uh, Peter Gabriel, she was backup mm. and absolutely fantastic if you haven't heard some of her backup parts in, in Peter Gabriel's songs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, isn't it, it, too, yeah. <laughs> it isn't it amazing uh the the way things can happen like the, this whole uh you know like new love for kate bush because of stranger things you know because of <laughs> netflix basically like mm -hmm. when i was a kid that sort of thing didn't happen but now that happens all the time with artists and it's really really cool <laughs> um, 
there until they get the replays. <laughs> Just bump up there. <laughs> They can, they can be in cool things like Stranger Things, even though I have to admit, I have not watched a single episode. I'm oh, it's one of those great. People. You have to. Oh, yeah. it's yeah, fantastic. That's, that's an awesome show. It really is. You have to watch it. Okay, so uh, confession time. I've been binging geology talks on YouTube. That's been like my big thing lately. <laughs> and I, exactly. Whatever so makes you. <laughs> Exactly. Like, exactly. I, yeah. And then if I'm just like lighthearted stuff, I always go back and like rewatch nineties or earlier stuff. I'm like I'll I've watched MASH from start to finish so many times I can't even count. I'm I'm just oh, like wow. a dork when it comes to TV. <laughs> I am the worst TV and movie person. I don't remember any of the lines except for Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here. Like that's really <laughs> one of the only ones I have. And I don't even remember what movie it comes from. <laughs> Like Jason Chong, right? Jason Chong, yeah, yeah, Jason Chong. Yep. I know. <laughs> what about you, Scars and Shadows? Uh, who are some of your uh, favorites and you know influences as far as my all-time ours? favorite is Stevie Nicks. Nice. Um, I'm also into Tori Amos, Heather Nova, PJ Harvey. Um, just uh, I like people that are into the deeper shit i guess <laughs> weird yeah, PJ, weird people i like weird people <laughs> pj harvey so so great she is so awesome <laughs> yeah underrated yeah for sure um what about you uh maria uh first i want to make a couple quick comments I just caught up with the chat a few minutes ago. Thanks to everybody who advocated to get me a chair. Appreciate that very much. <laughs> um, just a tall one. I, I, I saw that uh, Michael said he offered you a chair and you declined. <laughs> <laughs> also, Didn't think, Michael have Do they a even table? own chairs? We, we don't have any chairs. <laughs> Did Mike sit on a table? Don't chairs. <laughs> yes. yeah, he sat on a desk. A desk, yeah. yes. He sat on a desk for his... Well, he uh, can at least desk. offer you that. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, get the desk. <laughs> Is he wearing all black? He can't come on set unless he's wearing all black. <laughs> He has to be um, in the production so thank mode. You, thank you to that. And um, pole vault, pancakes and waffles. Obviously, why would you have to choose both? <laughs> yeah, one of each, <laughs> please. For sure. <laughs> a pancake waffle. Hey, babe, can we have pancake waffles tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh-huh. Um, okay, so to answer your question, Chad, um, I am, obviously, we've established I'm not a musician, but I have two musicians that came to mind who kind of, uh, influenced me as a person and my first was lita ford <gasps> nice so like i was a, um i was like mm, 13 maybe 12 when her song kiss me deadly came out and me and my mom and dad went to niagara falls and they had one of those like fake video production things from like the late 80s where you could like make a, vid a music video mm -hmm. <laughs> before you know now and um i out of the blue picked Kiss Me Deadly. Now, I don't know if anyone remembers that song, but it starts mm. with, I went to a party last Saturday night. I didn't get laid. I got in a fight. And so <laughs> me, 13 years old, me, or 12 maybe, and my mom on drums <laughs> looking like a total 80s rock star with the feather <laughs> hair and the glasses, and my dad on keyboard. Now, I didn't know there was keyboard in that song. <laughs> there, was dad, uh, there is a, a creative singer. license that comes <laughs> with being a musician license. yeah so my dad starts playing the keyboard with his feet he like i don't know was picking his feet up playing the keyboard and you just see my mom on the drums yelling at my dad right and i'm in the front singing all these like sexy like adult lyrics <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I love it's it. hilarious. I think Michael saw that when we first started dating, and he's like, "I'm gonna put a ring on that." So, <laughs> and a solid. <laughs> that was great. So, yeah. So, if you think the ladies out there, that's the trick. Lita Ford songs. Um, but just seeing her like in such a man's world at that time, you know, mm -hmm. and being sexy, but also being powerful and also being mm -hmm. talented, like. That was kind of unheard of um, in the mainstream at that point. So seeing her then. And then the second person, and um, this is, you guys might think this is funny, but 
Kelly Clarkson. Oh, so, she's awesome. You know, I, I love like her, her voice. I love her I love voice. her. I love her. As a person, right? I was going to say, I just want to be friends with her, I think. <laughs> I have no musical ability, but I am a massage therapist. And not too many people know this, but I used to massage uh, backstage a lot, of, a lot of different celebrities. And she was one of the people that I worked on. And she was one of the most genuine, sweetest, nicest people. Like, incredible above all else. And everybody was really great that I worked with. So she strikes I me as somebody who'd be really ticklish. Sorry. I don't know about <laughs> that. I that just, she was just really sweet. And I just thought like, wow. And she was huge at that time. It was right after she had won the American Idol thing. And she was like on this big tour. And I just was like, wow, somebody got so big. Like she's so incredibly hugely famous. And she's treating little old me like with so much respect. So those two people um, made an impact on me as a person. Nice. Because they're down to earth and they treat you like a human being. Yeah. 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 Kelly Clarkson is so great, though. Um, I mean, and uh, she's one of those that um, has has really, in in a a number of ways, I I think, has um, done so much with music, popular music, because one, you know, she was the first uh, American Idol and they're never going to top her as far as that that show and uh and then two she's one of those that really blended um you know pop and rock uh and and did so you know in such a big huge way um i think uh, genre there's been a lot of blending of genre uh since the the 2000s um and um i i think she is one of those, along with, like, say, Avril Lavigne, uh, that really helped uh, propel, uh, you know, kind of breaking down some of the genre barriers between uh, pop and rock. So I remember um, calling American Idol and voting for her. Every week. <laughs> I remember. I, I, did, I, I, I think I, I was probably eight years old, and I was just mesmerized oh, by her. I got uh, and then she won, awesome. and I cried. My mom was like, "There is something seriously wrong with you." I was like, "I love her." <laughs> no, she's made an impact in the world with her messages. So. Yeah, yeah, that's message. what's important. I feel like I'm showing okay. my age. I'm like, I massaged Kelly Clarkson when she won. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I bet you Katie I, was calling from a landline. I, so let's I, acknowledge that. I voted. <laughs> I uh, did have a landline. Yes, I did. I voted, but I was I was I was old. I mean, I was watching American Idol and loved it. <laughs> he was and loved kid. Kelly Clarkson, but I was you know, watching it after, as I was doing my English homework in elementary school. <laughs> 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 I like, had I'm a nine o'clock bedtime, and so I had to get all this in before bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. There. You're oh, all you babies. Oh, I have to put Kelly Clarkson on redial. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I was so happy when she won. Seriously, I was. Like, oh, I'm man. such a nerd. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I was uh, very happy as well. So I, I but I like I was in my thirties. So. <laughs> um, hey, this year's got can a great I call bullshit now? group of talent. <laughs> That's what I said when I found out how old he is. I was like, bullshit. And I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be 50 in May. So no drugs, what? no kids, no drugs, what? no kids who stay young forever. Yeah. So <laughs> people who like us who have I'm had 65. kids. <laughs> <laughs> so you so, look so, great too. No kids, so, no drugs. Apparently. <laughs> No kids so somewhere. sunshine what what about you uh who are uh, some of the ones that come to mind um i grew up listening to linda ronstadt and debbie boone uh i liked them a whole lot um then and uh i love janice joplin because i mm, think she was really yeah. groundbreaking and just you know you know like some of the stuff that i do is kind of wild and bizarre and i kind of feel like and i'm not trying to be groundbreaking of it but i'm just saying i like how she you know, she didn't just follow what everybody else was doing. She mm-hmm. did her own thing. And yep. some people liked it. Some people maybe didn't, but I thought she was great. And yeah. um, I like Gwen Stefani a lot. Uh, Stevie Nicks, like Scar said, who doesn't like Stevie Nicks, right? <laughs> and, but my favorite favorite is Ivor, which I think you know that already. Um, she does a lot of Viking music. Um, yeah, she's and awesome. She is, she is amazing. She's just really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and Gwen Stefani's another one of those uh, from, uh, you know, the late 90s to the 2000s, going from 
ska band to 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 like pop to then uh you know r and b and not being tied to one genre um so uh there's you know a lot of that happening for kind of the first time in, in the late nineties and two thousand and now that's like the norm yeah so, yeah and what about you uh katie besides uh kelly clarkson <laughs> um let's see leanne rhymes Mm. Um, oh yeah, I like Leanne Christine. Rhymes, so awesome. Love Patsy Cline, mm. oh, yeah. a huge influence on me. Listen to her all the time. I love Patsy. Um, let's see. My favorite, I have, is probably Lana Del Rey. She's probably oh, my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Like her, her new her, country road song her, is so good. She is um, probably not the best singer in the world, but her poetry, her songwriting yeah. is fabulous like there's you can't top it i love her voice though it's it's, it's, it's just she true. is so unique but, you know she always talks about how she's not the greatest singer so that's yeah. why i say that but her, maybe not every, technically great but the, the tone is what i matters. think she's yeah. great but she's yeah. always yeah. just like i'm just not a great singer but i'm a yeah. good she's writer and she is tone. and there's a vibe you mm -hmm. know and i think i think oh, that, yeah. that's a really great lesson that we should like look at too as you guys are out there producing your music just realize it's not about the technicality Right yeah, about for the sure. story, mm -hmm. you know, the technicalities <laughs> right. will come. I think with with time and practice. If you can tell a good story, then you're, you know, you have something right. to put out there, and all the rest will fall into place. People will come and help you. People, you know, like things will things come together. So right. just yeah, know what you do well. I think that's a great right. lesson from Lana Del Rey. She's like, I sing mm -hmm. because I write well. Yeah, you know, and, and just she knowing she's great. Um, she's probably my favorite. Um, who else? Janis Joplin. Um, I don't. I don't know. I'm yeah. stuck on Lana no. Del Rey. <laughs> these, these, these are all all great. Uh, and what about you, Carrie? Well, first of all, I'm going to say all the things that you said. All those people. <laughs> I can't, you know, like, 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 let's face it. I can't. I can't pick just one. But um, I was making my mental list, and I even. Um, so Peggy Lee, I'm gonna start from oldest. To nice. Oh, wow. nice. Go yeah. Peggy Lee is a baller. You should listen to some of her. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Crazy. Yeah. She was yeah. like <laughs> insane. Yeah. One of my favorite songs is the Doodling song, but I heard um, another one of hers where it's kind of like a. Uh, I don't know. She just, she's like kind of Alanis Morissette angst sort of lyrics, but she just, the era and stuff that it was released in, mm -hmm. like you wouldn't expect it. So, right. um, and I couldn't remember the name of that song, but it was so good. But I love Peggy Lee. Um, I'm going to go Catherine McPhee. If we're going to pick, if, if we have to pick female singers in Fleetwood Mac, I definitely love the tone and the sound of Catherine McPhee. She's not as much of a big personality as Stevie Nicks. Right. But Catherine McPhee has the most beautiful, like, rounded, like... Is her name Catherine or Christine? Christine. Is it Christine McPhee? Yeah, Christine. I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, you're yeah. Two, yeah. Two, yeah two, two different people there, Catherine uh, McPhee. Okay, yeah. so that's that's why Hans still fun. I was going to say, I didn't vote for her. I agree. <laughs> I was confused. Yeah, Christine, I agree. Christine McPhee. I agree, Curiosity. The song she does, Oh Daddy, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Just... Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. There's rain on my window. I love that one. That's too. another one too. Good one. Um, okay, so there's her. So okay, see if I can make a fool out of myself going forward with some more here. Um, from the '90s, Alanis set Like she, oh yeah, crazy. I love Alanis. I forgot to mention her. Yeah, <laughs> so, good. so great. And and yeah. like the way um, she's matured, her music is just poignant. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Listening I, to I, her talk, it's just. Crazy. She is one of my favorites for sure. I love, yeah. See, I wasn't big on Alanis' uh, first album, but like everything after that, it's like she gets better and better and better. Um, like her her most recent one, I'm such a fan of. You and also reasons I dream. Thirteen year old girl when the first album came out, and I'll tell you that, what, that thirteen year old girl in me, like that was the soundtrack <laughs> to my first breakup, and I didn't even know what half of the songs was really talking. You know, like. I think mm -hmm. it, my, I had, I, we kissed once, you know, and then we broke up sort of thing. So, <laughs> you know, but and I'm your like, whole world I down. want <laughs> yep. you to know <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so there's, wait, I've got, I've got more. I've got more. Okay. Jill, Scott. Okay. Jill Scott introduced me to poetry Ooh. and singing. Yeah. Okay. So that's. And then for current day, I am real okay. 
if you guys have not heard of the warning they are a oh yeah the warning's awesome all good all girl band and they're they're all fabulous but i i have a girl crush on the drummer go watch her perform and sing you guys will lose your mind i don't know how people do that like she drums so hard and she sings so good (laughs) and and they're one of those that's like a a, a anti success story because yeah they they basically uh are one of those that had just like gone from nowhere and big uh you know youtube uh world and now they're a big deal the link to them in the chat yeah well it, it did help that they were adorable and like seven nine and 12 when they did a cover of metallica and made it their own and yeah. and like just fucking slayed it so, so like, that like helps. this to them for sure yeah. <laughs> but, so for fun they do a ted talk and include their music so if you can find that and go watch that they tell this whole story of their purpose and their mission and just seeing these young ladies just so clear and so focused first i'm going to say it I'm a little bit jealous that they are so clear and so focused and so like stand for something at such a young age because I'm 40. I'm still throwing jello against the wall to see what's there. <laughs> you know? so, like, I mean, I think everybody has, everybody has their own timeline, but like you hero worship people younger than you is an interesting space to be in, you know? <laughs> I agree. I saw a little girl that was like nine years old that did Sound of Silence, and I was so blown away by this mm. child. Yeah. Well, and the, the drummer, I mean, they all play all these instruments and the drummer, um, how she does this beautiful version of Creep where she plays piano. It's all in black and white and she does it. And then she just like kills the song. And it's so cute because at the end of the song, she's like, yes, and like kills the video. <laughs> and I just, I love it. It's so, it's so good where she's just pouring her heart out, but she, know, you know, like she just knows she nailed it. And you know, when a version's really good, like even really the area, up. <laughs> like, oh, I did a good job that day and that day, not so much, but you know, like just reward you. ladies, reward yourself when you know that that was the best version you've done to date, because sure. you just give yourself the accolades, tell yourself I did a good job because <laughs> it is a talent and it is a beautiful thing that you're bringing to the world. And I just, I cannot, I'm not worthy <laughs> to be in the presence of such talent, but I'm I so agree. happy I am. <laughs> Well, like I said, we're going to go to video from Tabitha, but uh, since they haven't been mentioned, I will bring in some of my favorites. First off, I'm going to say I am a huge Britney Spears fan. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, yeah, and Taylor Swift. I do like Taylor Swift and what she did with Ticketmaster. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Swift. We can, we can end that talk. But, uh, uh, yeah. Did you hear that? Who was it that did the Britney Spears song? Tell me real quick. Tenacious D. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. You I hadn't yet? seen I that That's one. great. I want to watch that. Yeah. They did the cover. Look it up. But, You'll love but it. Britney Spears, when I was a kid growing up, Crystal Gale, she was the first person that I ever had oh, a crush yeah. on. Love, love, I love Crystal Gale. Her. Um, yeah, you mentioned her. Yeah. And, uh, and, Tan- and Tanya Tucker is another one. Um, but, uh, yeah, Pat Benatar, Joan Jett, oh, yeah. um, and, uh, Dolores, so Reardon, uh, the Cranberries, uh, mm. big one from the nineties. Um, and, uh, the, uh, Lander sisters from, uh, uh, Kitty, uh, big, big fan of Kitty. And now they're back together playing as a band and, uh, making new music. So excited for that. Um, of course, Janis Joplin. But uh, I'm surprised nobody said uh, Tina Turner. I was never big on her, but I know oh, she's such time. a huge, huge one. She's uh, so. a badass. <laughs> What's not <laughs> yeah. love? Wow. You're right. Yeah. Right. Amazing. So. Well, I'm but, proud uh, of all of you for being able to pick because it was really hard for me to pick. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. That's the thing. That's the thing. So There's nice. so many wonderful, <laughs> yeah. amazing artists. Yeah. So, for sure. Yeah. Oh. Um, now, Tabitha uh when's of winter we were going to go to that one uh what what do you want to tell us about that uh song and uh video well i think it's definitely one of my most uh different songs yet i challenge myself a lot like vocally and i was trying to do something different than what i did with my previous songs um 
and I guess that's about all I have to say about it. I hate talking yeah. about my music. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I never know the what same to say. way. That's what I. I, I I, I love about your uh, music, though, is that uh, I, I, I feel that you always do try to do something uh, different and you explore new things. And it's one of the things I think is so great about you. Like I said, um, I always think that, oh, this is my favorite song and oh, this is the best she's going to do. And then it's like you top that. So, yeah, no, this one's really, Thank really you. fantastic. Thank uh, you. So, yeah. I get tired of the way I do things. I'm like, well, I've got to. Well, I did it like this last time. Well, I want to change it up this time because I'm I'm tired of the last way I did it. <laughs> right. You're very talented, Tabitha. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, you so are. good. So here is uh, the Winds of Winter from uh, Tabitha Rains. <laughs>
Wow. So, so good. Fantastic, Tabitha. Fantastic. Yeah. Damn, Thank girl. You. That was awesome. Yeah. That's my creepy vibe. I love that part where it got like really kind of fast and intense. Yeah. So was, like, mm. I was like jam into that. But yeah. that's that's my creepy vibe. I, it's like, yeah. It's creepy, but yeah, also I want to put her in my pocket because she's so cute. Just take her with me. <laughs> and and yeah. that's, what I, yeah. that's what I love about Tabitha is that how like intense and how, how, how like dark and creepy and, and haunting her music can be. And then she's so just like so Sweet. you know the duality. shy and quiet yeah, yeah. The so. i get gothic kind of vibe too from it i love it thank you flopper yeah. says you put the woo in woman <laughs> <laughs> i like that's how uh, my tarantulas were dancing oh, that's so funny oh, oh wow <laughs> you made spiders dance that's got to be a high praise if the spiders are dancing. Unless they're dancing at you, Sunshine, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Mm, they write songs about them, so. <laughs> right, right. That's what they get. <laughs> I still just yeah. picture the spider like, <laughs> where's your neck? <laughs> it's haunting me. I don't, you, know, you just don't know. <laughs> like, every day. Julie knows. She had a spider stalk and bite her. <laughs> She has the surgery scars to prove it. <laughs> yeah. So we were going to go over to Scars and Shadows. Um, and uh, we, uh, let's see, which one do we have here? Angels in the Dark. Uh, another fantastic song. Uh, and what can you tell us about it? <laughs> <laughs> It's just a song. A song with music. <laughs> Play it now. These these are uh, these amazing women here with these uh, fantastic vocals and the okay. uh, brilliant okay. songs and then uh, we put them ask them about it and the way I can describe it is each person who hears it interprets it in their own way. It's not meant to be a a steady meaning. It's for everybody to right. take it how they take it. Right. Gotcha. Is that weird? No, <laughs> no, 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 no not at the all. Writing, I, yeah. I try to do that myself um, sometimes, but yeah, that's that's a really excellent writing style, universal writing. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for sure. I think Mike Posner said had a really great quote, and I'm I'm not gonna it's not gonna be verbatim, but somebody had asked him because um, that song that he he does uh, I what I took a pill in Ibiza. Mm -hmm. Like he wrote that as this really great, like acoustic, like mellow vibey song. But what got popular was like the remix version. And somebody was asking him, like, does it disappoint you that what got popular was not what you had made, but really what, you know, somebody else kind of taken, you know, like the, the next version of. And he said, you know what? I just write the song and what it does in the world is up to the world. That's exactly like, it. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's it's into the world now. And then Ren actually says that he loves listening to people react and interpret it in their own way because he forgets in the creation how um, the song can also be emotional because of all those technical pieces to it. So he goes back and he watches these reaction videos to remind himself that this is something that affects people in ways that he never even conceived of and maybe forgot for a minute and is re-reminded of the emotional connection that he has right. to that thing that he's created. So Lucy. it's great. Yeah. yeah and, and I've talked to, to filmmakers and they've kind of said the same thing that sometimes they, they're just creating. It's like they're, 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 you know, a painter painting and it's kind of just like happening and they're not really um, thinking I'm about gonna say it comes where from it goes. Something else. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. channel that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, channel it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So here is Angels in the Dark uh, from Scars and Shadows. Let's do it. Thank you. 
Wow. So good. That was so, so good. good. Yeah. Thank so you. beautiful. That was really, really great. Ah. You you Amazing. just make wonderful music. You really do. It's I so, got so chills. Good. It was so good. I always get chills. <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost quit until 15th Ben found me, and then I came back. I yeah. took all my I'm, stuff I'm down. I'm glad you did. Girl, don't, I don't feel quit. you. I feel never, you. I've been never here quit. so many times, like right at the edge, you know, um, and then someone like Chad comes along and kind of says, hey, I like this a lot. And I'm like, you did? You like it? <laughs> just remember it's timeless y'all if you do decide to quit leave your damn channels up I, I, break some hearts i <laughs> <only four>. i <laughs> totally bad. agree with you with that because there there are a couple of artists that um i was going to play their music on certain shows and i couldn't find it and then I sent them messages and they're like, oh, well, I'm taking a break. And they made all their videos private. And I'm just like, don't do that. Don't even if you that. take a break and you, if you, even if you quit, don't private your videos, leave them up there. And uh, Let yeah. Let the ripples flow, man. Yeah. Let the ripples flow. Because yeah. like Rich uh, GT350R, <laughs> like Rich in the chat said, music is a story being told so your songs are being told still even after you've completed it and released right. it it's yeah. still it's still talking it's still being right. told there's um chapters that are added to it it's i told my husband, that are chapters <laughs> i told yeah. my husband when i die you have to leave my shit up <laughs> <laughs> there you go yes a girl. exactly a girl. Yes. A girl. <laughs> don't ever take it down <laughs> <laughs> Scar that song. It's just it's, listening to it is like it breathing. It is. It was absolutely thank fantastic. Mushy, yep. thank you. Yeah. yeah, so good. We're gonna see how many times we can make Scar get teary tonight. <laughs> she, I'm, she, I'm sorry. She, she's a mushy, <laughs> mushy kind of gal. I love I'm it. It makes an empath, and it sucks. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm very well, it's it. to be. We we absolutely love you, Scars. You you were so. You, guys, um, you and I need to talk. I've got some human design stuff that might help you with that. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> you can protect thyself and still be an emotional empath without it hurting you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so Julie, we were gonna go to this video, and I don't know if you want to set this up, or Carrie wants to set it up, but the, the I might river be springing song. it on her a little bit. Oh, so, no. oh, you're springing it on her. Okay. I'm springing it on her. Okay. Well, for, for two oh reasons. Goodness, this is so old. I mean, okay. So, everybody, it was recorded in the 90s or maybe the 80s. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. It's I think it had old. a date on it. Hang on. It's like it's early said... 2000s, it, but the highest resolution is like 140. Two, so. 2007, it says. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. But here's, here's why I'm springing it on you. Number one. I love watching Julie play guitar and we haven't had a chance to see that yet. And so that's why I'm springing this on her. And also, you know, um, it has my dad in it and there's not a whole lot of recordings of his voice that I have quick, easy access to like this channel. So, um, and, and part of my transformation, one of the reasons why I'm here talking with Chad and doing this is because of the influence that dad, um, and his passing had on me. So, um, it just seemed apropos, <laughs> and so I'm. I, I dug deep into the archives, and I'm. Please forgive me, Julie, but it's really good. You guys are gonna love it. It's a banger. <laughs> no, it, it it is good. The the quality on it is, is you know. The sound again. The sound no, no, no. Is great. <laughs> right, right, right. It's so, video. <laughs> but yeah, no, but it does sound great. So, um, and and um, it's a little like the video because it says two for two river song. So with so is, we were two for two that actually my okay. duo partner of 19 years was Carrie's dad. Okay. And, uh, okay. and we did call ourselves two for two gotcha. back, in the, back in the day. We played two covers for two originals. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. I didn't even know that. See, I just learned two something new too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. Fantastic. So here we go with that one. We're just going to do it without the beat.
I probably sing that. I, was all the views on that video is probably me. <laughs> <laughs> I love those harmonies. You're right. Yeah, that was yeah. tight. That was I beautiful. Really, really miss your dad. I know. There's so many things that I wish I could. Well, I, I still show him. I'm going to be honest. He's like right. He's right there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He's with us. Um, but yeah, I I bring him with me. <laughs> But but to actually like hear some of his commentary on some of these things as I've been digging into him because it wasn't a world that I was in really before, while he was alive, so um, it's you know like that bittersweet dichotomy that juxtaposition of like thank you and also I miss you you know so it's 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 a strange place to kind of be um, when you lose somebody and gain so much from it. And, and then to be able to say that out loud, you know, I think that this is a little bit of a stigma on saying like, I've grown as a person from that, you know, so it's, it's, that's what's so special to me. And, and going back and, and the state of mind, like Julie and I have an, we've had, you know, some ups and downs in our relationship. It's been interesting, <laughs> you know, and so just coming full circle and sitting on the stream with you, Julie, is just so special. So thank you. I'm so glad you showed up. Just, well, yeah. So, so so much. Happy you guys that's awesome. Me. 
Okay, well, I Chad, wanted to say, Chad. I'm sorry. Here's a, here's a wild card for you. Let's let's queue up one of my newer ones. <laughs> oh, she's like, I need a palate cleanser after that. I did. I did well, that well, hey, hey, hang on. <laughs> So Tabitha is going to have to leave uh, real quick. So um, I did want to uh, real quick before she goes, though, uh, have her uh, talk about one more that we're going to play of hers. Um, and then we've actually got a world premiere from Liz a day that we're going to go to. So, uh, oh. yes. <laughs> Wait, really? Right. I didn't. Okay. I think I. I okay. <laughs> Wait, who, who's vacuuming? Is that pole vault vacuuming? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. I blame. I blame pole vault. Um, so, so Tabitha, uh, I was going to either do Hypnotic Dreamer or Three Minutes to Midnight. Uh, which one would you prefer to go out with? I think Three Minutes to Midnight because I think a lot of people who know my music know Hypnotic Dreamer. I don't know if as many right. people know. Three minutes to midnight. Three minutes to midnight. That that's one of my favorites. I love that one. So thank you. Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. Any anything about the process of uh, making that song or anything that you want to share before we play it? Uh, well, I guess I could mention that it's probably my like most rock like of any song that I've released. It's got the um, guitars and all of that. So I guess that's all right. I have to say about it. Okay. I, I have so much. I have so much to say about my songs that I'm alone. It's like I'll be thinking about, okay, so this is what this song means, or right. oh, this is what else I could say about this song. And then when I get at the microphone, I'm like, it's a song. Yeah. <laughs> There's some music. Ta Ta Tabitha does uh, great uh, videos breaking down a lot of her songs and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's cool. definitely on her channel. Uh, yeah, I got to get stuff. back to those. I was kind of taking a break from them for, for a minute. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you, you're going to have to go, right? Uh, we mm -hmm. hope that you have a, a, a great rest of your evening, great weekend. Um, you know, uh, happy Easter to you. Um, happy, though, that you were able to join us uh, on this show. So Yeah, thank you for having me. It was so nice. great. Great, great songs. Great, great, songs. Yeah. great songs. I can't wait to go dig in some more. Same. So thank here you. is Three Minutes to Midnight from Tab at the Rains. <laughs>
so so good. <laughs> the end caught me off guard and made me jump. <laughs> I was like, hey. <laughs> totally jumpy. Your eyes are haunting, lady. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she she does haunting uh so very well. Like uh, mm. her music and her videos. Yeah. Um I love But it's uh, not too much. It's not if I can watch it and not like <laughs> <laughs> that means it's, it, well, it's just perfect for me, my delicate sensitivities. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like to think of my music as having the, because everybody says it's really. A lot of people tell me it's really creepy, and I don't necessarily get the extreme creepy vibes from my music. I just kind of see it as, yeah, I don't either. <laughs> it's kind of fun, fun creepy maybe Halloween creepy, kind of yeah. campy creepy, yeah. but like yeah. good. Yeah. I don't know. It's haunting is is good, but not scary. Right. I can yeah. do yeah. haunting. <laughs> Yeah, Halloween for me is every day, and and your music is like the perfect soundtrack. <laughs> so, yeah, I love Halloween. That's my favorite holiday. Still in October. <laughs> oh man! So where are we going next with this? Um, these conversations well, and these songs that we're playing. I'm like, I've got so much new music. I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. Well, we were gonna go to uh, a uh, a new one from Liz. Uh, who uh, evidently she she just premiered it actually on her channel. We were supposed I just to... unclicked. I didn't even. Re I well, no it's worries. Early. Um. Yeah, but this this would be a good time because I've got to run to the yeah 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 and hang yeah. my wash. And I've heard this before, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had to pee. I've had to pee. I've had to pee for like an hour. Well, no, three martinis ago. She's had to be three martinis. Okay. Don't be stingy with the vodka. Um, I like so to dry. You just show the vermouth to the vodka and put it in a fancy glass. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love drunk oh. laundering, but I um I I need to step away for a moment. Uh, but I haven't been able to uh, because I've been absolutely wrapped in all of you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. So much fun, isn't it? So much, yes. Fun. So many great artists here. There's so much talent. So happy. Yeah. So but this one, this one, real quick before you go, um, mm -hmm. y y you were inspired by uh, Six Feet Under a little bit with the video. Oh, for the video for a moment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not quite there yet. Um, I I want to I want to do some more experimenting with that um, medium of uh, anybody seen Six Feet Under the series. From the 90s it is oh, fantastic yeah. yes, if you I have have. not seen it yes I, yeah. that one i've seen yeah <laughs> the artist cl photographer um claire she was having a tizzy fit over um something I, it's been ages but uh she tore up all her work speaking of taking your work down scars but it, she had a um a tizzy and she took all of her fo photographs and ripped them up and threw them about and then uh you know just had a tantrum and but then she took the eyes and put them on her eyes and it was so cool. And it, it launched <laughs> into a whole nother um, uh, kind of artwork that she started doing mosaic um, portraits of people, taking their picture, ripping it up, then pasting it onto their faces and taking pictures of that. I want to do that, but I didn't have the I wherewithal to do. But um, I just put the eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to do that one day. But this was my first toe in the water. Um, just doing an homage or a little nod to that. It's really just I cut some eyes out. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love that. Me too. <laughs> I want to different. go back and watch the show. <laughs> okay. Uh, me too. I do. It's been ages. All right. Well, you go to the bathroom, and we are going to watch. Okay. Uh, best. I'm gonna go yeah, I'm sorry. The Lou. Uh, the Lou. The Lou. Best best so and worst <laughs> from Liz a day here we go Upset all the bits in the back of my tie. 
tired old stories I'm shedding skin I never knew I had to give You bring out the best and worst in me That was so good. Amazing. I love the beat. That was awesome. The visuals were fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, and if you want to join my form of cut and paste, I have a uh, extortion MLM where I cut out letters and send out letters to people. So <laughs> go ahead and sign up. But um, if you want to make money, you got to sign five people up underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wanted to go to Katie because we've only uh, played one song from her so far. Let's um, do it. Let's do it. And, I want to uh, hear another Katie. Yeah, I love Katie. Katie, Katie you're, you're awesome. Thank you. I haven't so listened. Much. I hadn't listened. I didn't do any homework. I didn't listen to any of these beforehand. So this is all like new, new music for me. So yeah. hot takes. I love it. <laughs> which, all which, the which ladies is super cool. have been amazing. Just amazing artists. You are yeah. amazing. Yeah. Period. I agree. Fantastic. Um, my favorite song from Katie and uh, Chris Lane, I think it was, uh, he mentioned it earlier in the chat. I think it's his favorite as well. Outrun the Sun. Uh, man, what a what a fabulous song. I just love this. We're going to go to that Thank next. Um, um, this song, any any certain thing about the, the process of uh, creating it or the, it you know, the story goes behind it? 
it just kind of goes with the theme of my mind, I guess. Um, I'm wild. I'm a wild one. And then I'm always trying to run from everything. Like, and, well, not my current self, but my past self was right. always trying to run from everything before I like actually healed and realized that I did not have to be that person anymore. I didn't have to right. run. I could just, right. you know, be a person and not be crazy. <laughs> right. But um, that's, that's really what the song is about. Just like facing your problems and stop trying to run from everything. Right. I think a, a lot, or at least the, the way my life has been is that uh, there's almost this wanting to outrun yourself, um, mm -hmm. escape yourself in some way until you realize, you know, um, that, you know, until you get to that point to where you're actually comfortable in your own skin and accepting right. of who you are. And like you said, if you have things that need to be healed, mm -hmm. uh, heal yourself. So I, I think Absolutely. that uh, a lot of people can connect with that song in that way. But the uh, older I get, the more I stop giving a shit what other people think. And it's great. <laughs> like if I had that mentality 10 years ago, I would be, right? a totally, but I wouldn't be able to write these songs that I write now. So, right. That's a that's, kind of, it's kind that's, of good and bad that I went right. through what I went through. So yeah. that's, that's the thing is that what we go through is ma makes us who we are. And if we didn't go through that, we'd be a completely different person. So, right. And maybe, yeah. maybe somebody can resonate with what I've written now that, you know, can help them. So, right. Well, here is Outrun the Sun uh, from Katie Tidmore.
sunset fade away. Slow down, baby. You ain't gotta run. No, slow down, darling. Cause you can't outrun the sun. I can't outrun the sun. So, so good. Thank you. Katie, 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 girl. I got to tell you something. I love me a chocolate shake, but uh, you, your voice is, is like malt. Mm. <laughs> it is just yeah. so thick and beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is. It's, it's astonishing. It really is. You know, I like chocolate malts. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> A new realization. Oh, it's <laughs> bad for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it just so wonderful. The, your voice, uh, it just, it's magic. It really is. Thank so you. good. Absolutely. And somehow you're writing the biography of my life. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you are. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, but I can try to outrun the sun. Hold my beer. I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to do it for years. It ain't working out. <laughs> I'm up again. It's just like, there's a lot. No, but I really love that line um, about uh, if there isn't any rest for the wicked, when do I get some sleep? Yeah. Thank yeah. You. That's, that's a good one. Hi. Such a good line. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I have to readjust my setup Beautiful and stand up because I was starting to stick to my chair, you know. <laughs> it's getting a little, a little sweaty. Yeah, we we very much are, are thankful that uh you know you share your gift, you know, as you do. Uh it's so so great. Uh such a great uh vocalist. Uh could listen to you all day long. So great. And look at how darlingly humble you are. <laughs> yeah, she, she well, you is. You know, a lot of it, I've heard a lot of y'all say I don't like talking about my music. And that, I mean, yeah, you kind of get like a mental block. Like, I don't know why I wrote the damn thing. I was just, you know, I don't yeah. know what the damn like, thing was about. I, I, just, I just felt this vibe and I started writing words. Like, I was in a mood. And it, and it helped people. That yeah. song helps somebody. Yeah. That is my hope for everything that I put out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the magical thing about music is that, you know, uh, every, every bit of music, I mean, you never know when somebody else is going to connect to it and what it's going to mean to them. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really a, a, a magical thing. No, I would love to sing some of those songs. They're, they're, <laughs> my range and everything. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, Sid had to leave us early, but um, I did have the trailer for the uh, the, oh, the short film, uh, the reflection. So I did want to play that, and then I was going to play another one of her videos as well. Uh, Perfect. So this is a uh, it's it's pretty short, but uh, the reflection, um, and she wasn't too uh, bragging about it. But let me pull this up real quick. Um, hang on just a second here. Should have got this ready. Chad, you're so unprofessional. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, I, lo I love the real moments here. <laughs> it's, it's probably because he had to spend 30 minutes with me trying to figure out how to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> just, they just forgot all about what he really needed to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> trying to that teach me how to live well, stream. Well, he, here's what we'll do. We'll go to it. I'll find it uh, as the trailer is playing. So this is uh, the reflection, and this is the uh, starring and written and directed, um, edited uh, everything pretty much from uh, Sid Carter West. Uh, so here it is.
Oh my god. I'm so ready to watch that movie. Yeah, I'm down <laughs> for that. That was like I was like, "Oh, it's over." Shit. So <laughs> so it's been nominated uh several film festivals and actually won best female director short film wow. at Can World Film Festival. She was like Slim Festival in wow. France. It was oh, like okay. uh, <laughs> was, Did you just say Can Film Festival? Like just Yes. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. Festival. <laughs> 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 ever dresses up for and there definitely isn't red carpet things right like people or us weekly about the can film I, I just... <laughs> yes <laughs> i love it but that's the thing is that you know a uh, humble artist uh it just makes the art even that much better and amazing you know it makes the, the artist the annoying people. but the art is great <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying it. You know, uh, I'm a spectator sport here. Yeah. <laughs> like Monday, Monday, we just Monday morning quarterback the ship. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I love you so much, Gary. You, you are just something else. Uh, you I really love, are. I'm something. We're still trying to figure out what that is. If you guys know, let <laughs> maybe it'll help me out. So, <laughs> so, so I am, I am going to go to uh, another. Uh, this was a original from uh, Sid Carter, and uh, this was a, a video that she directed and produced as well. Uh, and the song is "Moonshine." So That's here we song. go. Sid Carter with <laughs> you, you, you know all about that moonshine. So, so here is moonshine from Sid Carter West. <laughs>
Damn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Sid, that was Sid, fun. Sid oh, is an absolute rock star. She really is. Shout out. She's so great. Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, I was going to read also what, what she wrote about that song. Uh, she said, the fear of disappointing others, feeling alienated and judged is something I still live with daily. So I wanted to write a song that reminds me of what joy, empowerment, and unapologetic openness feels like. So, All right. Right. Wow. Yeah. Well, and taking well, back that, that narrative that of, being, of being too much, you know, I think that... Um, we can, and, and sorry, Chad, this is going to take a real girly left turn. So try to all try good. to feel comfortable as I, as I, as I point I'm out. On a, I'm on a panel with all women. I'm, I'm, I'm totally good. Like, you know, there's like this stereotype. A lot of times, like a man will exhibit a sort of um, behavior and it's fine. It's confidence. It's, you know, it's forthright. It's direct, you know, and then as women, we can exhibit the same thing and we're too much. Yep. You know, and that song really spoke to me, like in that, like taking back that power of like, yeah, I am intense. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm loud. Yeah, I talk over people sometimes. I just get excited. You know, like <laughs> it's, but like to be told that you're too much, like I can't tell you how many times I've been told like, you're just a lot. You're just loud. You're a lot. And then you try to like become more pleasant. And it, and it's like, you know what? It's okay for me not to be pleasant all the time or easy to be around. As a matter of fact, it kind of weeds out the riffraff. Yeah, and Absolutely. saying no isn't rude. It isn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's such a hard thing as, as um, and then there's the overcompensation piece, right? Like we can see a lot of women around the world that are really overcompensating the other direction. And it's like, let's, let's come back to the middle here where we can yeah, all right. be who we are and mm. not bull people over or manipulate people or like shove, you know, our newfound freedom in their face or whatever it is, you know, like there's this really sweet spot that I can't wait to kind of come back to and, and achieve this equilibrium of like where we're not telling people that they're too much, you know, either of them, <laughs> you know, men or women, you know, so yeah. that was such a good song, like speaking to like taking that, that back and taking down those labels as like, not apologizing for it, but also you don't have to overcompensate either. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, that was very well said. Yeah, it was. Much. And on that note, I'm afraid I'm going to have to jump off. So uh, I, it's really, um, look, it's been hard for me to even tear myself away to render the water closet. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I've just gone outside no, and hung the water. I'm and I'm I've got a it. husband who's unwell and he's trying to mow the lawn and I've got to go stop oh. him. Uh, go him. <laughs> oh, gotcha. no. I'm adopting you. Know, you know, anyway, I've adopted y'all. Just so you know, I've adopted y'all because it's a very, you know, gender neutral term instead of you guys, which I come from the nice, everybody's you guys. But I'm going to adopt Lou mm -hmm. too because it's such a sweet way of saying I'm, I'm going to go pee. And I'm going to do water closet. Oh. Water closet's the best. <laughs> I was like, who's Lou? Yeah, I think what? I'm going to take that water closet. Uh, <laughs> all right well, everybody i'm so happy to know you and thank you for inviting so me along i'm really inspired i'm inspired by all of you and i'm definitely i've subscribed so i'm in liz you are absolutely darling you are who said that oh, that's julie, <laughs> julie. <laughs> who are you you won me over all of you so thank you i will see you in the funny pages eh <laughs> Absolutely year. love you, Liz, and love we'll talk, you to you talk to you soon. Talk to you soon, sweetie. Chad does events, so next year he's going to do this in person. He said he was going to throw a big event, <laughs> and he's going to invite us all down, and we're going to have like a women's music conference. It's going to be amazing. I would, I would <laughs> love to do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> he would. <laughs> that's what he that's what he does for or did for a living is, is put on the uh, the shows so let's uh let's have a women's conference next year <laughs> i i'm i'm all for it we just got to get some sponsors behind it so there can we go. please take over the world and scrunch all this bullshit going on in it for real <laughs> who down for that I, i'm, I'm all for louder. that as well get louder than it <laughs> so sunshine we are back to you uh, it's been a bit, but uh, let's see. We were going to go to Rabbit Hole. How about uh, can I make a request? <laughs> oh, you want to go to a different one? The, yeah, can we do the other one? Uh, the, should I? Oh, should I? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I see, okay. I skipped um, over that one. So that one was a, was a song that I did with Pole Vault. And um, I can't really go into the whole Pole Vault storyline because that's long. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shortcut through a pull vault story. <laughs> but this part of the storyline, um, Fisher, the, the woman, was uh, I'll just shorten it, I'll shorten it down to she's in a love triangle, and basically both the, both of the guys have treated her like dirt at some point or another, <laughs> and so but they're both wanting her back. So this song, you know, he asked me to write or write the lyrics to a song and sing sing to it, you know, about that story that story line so that's what this is about yeah and, and for those that don't know basically uh how, how many albums has this like storyline been going oh my on gosh. for? <laughs> um <Pole> Vault, <laughs> how many albums Pole Vault dedicates to a storyline eight 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 albums eight, yeah. eight albums this like it's epic long. it's like this, a, and she's ep- a succubus <laughs> yeah well it's <laughs> it's, it's it's a lot it's a, yeah, this like epic Twilight, you know, yeah, love story. Like, yeah, uh, eight albums long so far, and it's like if you knows. took Piper at the Gates of Dawn and Dark Side of the yeah, Moon and ten other albums and dubbed yeah. them together into a big story. <laughs> Got it. I love I'm it. Here. I'm here for it. Oh, so. um, for those of you who need refreshments, there is development of avoid cookies in the chat. <laughs> so help yourself to some uh, cootie cookies. It looks like. <laughs> 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 so here we go with uh, Should I? So this is actually a pole vault track featuring Sunshine. Is that right? Yeah, I wrote the lyrics and sung to it. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's a it's a Sunshine track that pole vault is claiming, basically. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Here we go.
video along with the that song i love how well i could hear your vocals in that one that was my favorite one so far so pretty yeah yeah so good holy cow y'all this has been so fun, yeah. <laughs> so fun. almost uh it. almost four hours already well time yeah. flies we haven't gotten to half the things I want to talk about. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> well, go, no, go, this... go, go right ahead, Carrie. What, no. what do you have to ask the panel? Ask no, away. actually, this has been like really um, therapeutic. It's been like great just listening to all of these different things that I haven't listened to before. And knowing the people behind the sound always makes a song mean so much more to right. me. Yeah. And so I love that I have like you now i can go listen to the music and know the person behind the sound it makes such a difference it makes such a difference and so i always tell artists tell your story we want to know like even if you have already healed from it or even if like you, why did you write it i'll make up my own mind about what it makes me feel but right. being able to connect to you as a human makes it yep. so much more poignant and and yeah. so much more um if I, like I love interviews where people kind of go underneath like the marketing interview, you know, circuit right. and they get really deep into stuff and you hear these things that you don't hear anywhere else about a person's life or personality or thoughts about anything, <laughs> you know, right. when you have a chance to get just a little bit deeper in there. Yeah, just Carrie, makes it back, in the day, back in the day, they used to have the album and you open that up and you had all this information about the artist and mm -hmm. now social media, it, you know, you just, you, you get the recordings, but you don't really get to see anything behind the lines. Right? Yeah. Unless you're doing it right. Unless you're doing it right. There's, there's, <laughs> you know, so tell, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly produced. It's just a story, you know. I'm not yes. doing it right then. <laughs> yeah. And I love seeing the yeah, evolution, the evolution of a song growing into its own, you know. So I love watching people like work things out. Like I love band practices better than band performances, you know, <laughs> just because it's so fun to like hear people work through the sound and figure things out and, and watch it like the progression of something. Right. That's part of the story too, is the evolution. Harry, I just, I just want to add, if you, um, if you love band practices so much, have you ever lived with a band that practices? <laughs> <laughs> I have. Just, just, uh, yes. 
Well, yes, she I came. Know. She came over to my house. It was uh, the whole living room is just <laughs> instruments and sound equipment and lights. <laughs> okay, but you have never lived with an artist who paints portraits and has had eyes staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because that is an experience. I will take band practice over portrait painter any day. <laughs> because that is a creepy process to watch. <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is true. I've had a band in my basement for many, many, many years. And uh, I went over a guy's house once who was a portrait. He was actually a tree painter. And all of his trees had eyes. And he had hundreds of paintings. <laughs> I was there for five minutes. I was like, get me out of here. It was so <laughs> I'll go back to that band house in a hot minute. <laughs> You're like, oh, you don't date much, do you? Because <laughs> I mean, like, come on over to my place, honey. <laughs> She's like, mm, I kind of like my eyes in my head. Thank you. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm the girl you're looking for, dude. <laughs> Another dating uh, horse. <laughs> well, why don't we go to another one of your picks that uh, you sent me, um, Maria? Um, another from uh, Lady Campion, uh, which, speaking about, um, you know, uh, influential women in, uh, you know, music. Uh, White Rabbit, uh, Jefferson uh, Airplane. Um, uh, you know, such an influential song in so many different ways, and such an amazing um, Grace Grace Slick, right? Slick. Yes, Grace Slick. Slick. And yeah, she Grace Slick. Also, there's a whole bunch of Grace Slick singles, <clears throat> or um, as an independent artist, she I forgot to put her on my list, and I meant to. Yeah, Grace Slick, so <laughs> awesome. So good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and of course, you know, Lady Campion, amazing uh, vocalist. Uh, what was it though about this song that you know made you say, "Hey, you know, this is one we need to spotlight"? Uh, well, I mean, first of all, the song itself, the original song, um, it always catches my eye. Like, I, for some reason, I feel like I have this memory of like the '90s. I would go to a diner because we live in Jersey, so Jersey diners, like two, three in the morning, and somebody was playing this song on the little jukebox. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember like it catching my eye and being like, man, this song is so cool. Like, and the, the whole concept of like being in an altered state of reality and exploring it and being like, what right. are my options here? And not just like the standard. So even that story and the female characters in that story um, right. that have such strength and such presence, I always thought that was really cool. So kind of the holistic view of the song. Um, right. And then it was one of my original ones uh, that I heard Lady Campion on, and I was like, oh my God, like she just, she can do anything. So, um, right. yeah, I don't know if her ears are burning, but. <laughs> yeah. She's phenomenal. So, yeah. Maybe if we yeah. say her name three times, she'll show up. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, go, go ahead and try it. Try it. Lady yeah. Campion. Lady Campion, Lady Campion, Lady Campion, we love you. Come on, but don't we have to go like in front of a mirror and turn the bathroom light off and turn three circles? She's a sweetheart. No, that was red she rum. Really that was red rum. Okay. Sweet. I thought it was Bloody Mary. Yeah, that oh, was Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. Yeah. Bloody Mary? Okay. Well, Our candy man. Uh. Yeah, right. Mm. I think development of a void has that talent. So Dio oh, yeah, is still okay. here. You got to incarnate the uh, champion. <laughs> you hear that, Dio? You, your mission, should you choose to accept it? Avoid <laughs> using nine powers. <laughs> I mean, he um, created the cookie, so, you know. <laughs> he says, lady, well, I mean, campion. Mm -hmm. Ah, now we're all calling lady campion's name. <laughs> She's like, God, I have my ears. I can't. <laughs> I have this ringing in my ears. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> it's tinnitus. She's probably sleeping and having a nightmare right now. She's like, why are all these people <laughs> saying my name? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> She'll rewatch it though. She'll we'll get to this point and be like, "Oh my god, <laughs> you guys are so embarrassing." <laughs> so, so here is White Rabbit. This was uh, Hugh Caldwell actually uh, wanted to do this song, and he contacted Lady Campion, and um, and uh, she was like, "Yeah, I don't know. I've never thought about doing that song." And then she 
give it a try. And yeah, it's fantastic. So uh, here is White Rabbit. So great, such a voice. Yeah. So good. It was. Feed your head, everybody. Feed your head. You know, <laughs> an underrated song by Grace Slick is Dreams. And I absolutely cannot ever get enough of that song. And, and I went to go look because I was like, I haven't actually tried that one karaoke. And there's no karaoke song. So I guess I'm just going to have to you wait. You got to start making them. That's what no, you need to I do, refuse Kay. to pick up another Arts <laughs> Farsi skill. I have rocks piled all around my house. I'm. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> well here's what you do you contact hugh caldwell you, you okay. plant the idea in his head and then he'll yeah. do like a collab with lady campion or somebody and then have him send you the track and you can there you go. do a karaoke there you go. There you go. have you guys heard the gray slick song dreams uh, i haven't i'm not familiar with it no I oh it is so good <laughs> it is so good I recommend you go find it. I'll, I'll have to look that up. Oh. So, fancy Julie, uh, <laughs> I had of your stuff. Hang on, where did it go? Um, say goodbye. I had that one queued up. Sure, that that would be an okay song to play. Uh, she it. She's like, it. don't let Carrie pick anymore. <laughs> there, I deserve that. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this song is another relatable song. You know, we have a lot of people just walking out of relationships without explanation and people not willing to do the work, you know, to to make the relationship thrive. So, you know, this, the song say goodbye. I mean, the title kind of says it all. <laughs> right. Yeah, just say the words, just say I'm done. Don't, don't just bench me, <laughs> kick me out all together. <laughs> yeah. I never, I never understood that. Like, I mean, how, how big of a coward are you to not actually, you know, say, 
you know, I'm done or whatever. And yeah. you give it some yeah. sort of explanation. And, and really, actually, in this particular song, everybody probably thinks it's a song written about, you know, love gone wrong. But actually, it was another song I wrote for my daughter. <laughs> mm. And she um, and say goodbye. Really, what this song was about is, uh, you know, she she had some some trauma and I'll, I don't need to get into it. You know, it really just really bad stuff happened. And she ended up having um, post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm. And uh, unfortunately, even though she loves me very much, I bring up triggers. And so Say Goodbye was actually a song I wrote for my daughter <laughs> who couldn't say goodbye. So <laughs> mm, gotcha. I relate, honey. Yeah. I'm just yeah. going to say that. That's hard. And <laughs> so, something that I had just uh, learned recently was how much more the possibility of uh, PTSD in women is to men. Um, you always think of, uh, maybe more it's because they're bigger, bigger crybabies maybe than women. <laughs> But women, um, it's it, like uh, 10 to 20, no, it's 10 to 12% um, uh, prevalence of PTSD uh, in women as opposed to 5 to 6% in men. So um, it's like one in 14 women in their lifetime experience it or something like that. So, yeah. Well, you know, um, that makes a lot of sense because we internalize a lot of things and we like to fix a lot of things. And if we can't fix it, then it hurts us <laughs> deeply on many different levels. Yeah. At least that's been my experience. I want to fly in with my purple cape and make it all right. <laughs> I, I think also, I mean, so I your cape's part. purple. <laughs> women experience a lot more violence. I mean, men also experience violence, but, you know, put on them. Um, personal even, violence even, yeah even personal violence yeah um so that could also be the other aspect of right. it that you know, we're yeah. experiencing so much trauma and then also carrying it right yeah. and yeah. feeling like we've done something wrong it's that internalization of it the embodiment of it yeah, yeah. or have been told we've done something wrong even if it's not like explicitly told like in a lot of ways society kind of tells us sometimes that you know we're the problem oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, like in the words of hi, it's me. I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wow. Chad. It's a good line. <laughs> so here is say goodbye from. I'm gonna uh, make it happen. <laughs> Julie Stone Williams. Hey, I'm looking at you Do you even know what is true? Do the lines get blurry When the heat is on your tender skin? Hey, I'm just wondering why We couldn't sit and talk it out Why you wouldn't try was it something that I missed? I didn't know it was our last kiss Don't I deserve to know why You walked out on me When you told me that it was forever And you wouldn't talk to me Just to tell me why You just walked out on me Broke away like a piece of ice Slash on half of me to pay the price it would be nice to know why I saw you fighting ghosts in your sleep And I knew you were broken Parts of you that you couldn't share Holding burdens that you couldn't bear I guess I know the reason why you just couldn't say goodbye Instead you walked out on me When you told me that it was forever And you wouldn't talk to me Just to tell me why You just walked out on me 
broke away like a piece of ice. Slice a half, I made to pay the price. It would be nice to know why. Hey, I'm looking at you. You didn't really have to go. I would have stayed for the whole show. But I guess you didn't know. Yeah, I guess that you didn't know. Instead, you walked out on me when you told me that it was forever, and you wouldn't talk to me just to tell me why. You just walked out on me, broke away like a piece of ice. Slice a half for me to pay the price. It would be nice to know why you just couldn't say goodbye. So oh, good. That's and thanks for sharing that's, 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 really, that's a hard it's a hard conversation to have about our kids as moms, you know, to know that sometimes it's sometimes the uh the most loving thing you can do is let them walk away. <laughs> yeah. And, and and you know, come back around when they've had their chance to walk mm-hmm. and mature and, and feel themselves in a way that is separate from you. Yeah. It's huge. That's huge. <laughs> We are not our children as our identities. <laughs> oh, you know. we're not? <laughs> nope, we are not. That's a tricky one. That's a tricky one. <laughs> so Katie's going to have to jump off of here. Um, so we we're going to go to uh, another Thank one from you. her real quick. Um, very much appreciate you uh, coming and uh, hanging with us tonight. Oh, anytime. And, uh, I love being here. <laughs> And um, you are always welcome, um, and uh, it's always uh, very nice to have you. Uh, this is like the third time, I think, because yeah, you were on a, sh- uh, a block party, and then you were on my Saturday show at one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so always awesome to have you. Um, so we were gonna go to when I drink uh, for your last song before you go. Um, I'm not going to ask you anything about writing it or uh, what it's about or anything like that. Uh, well, I will tell you. you have I, I will mention. I have <laughs> She's like, but wait, for this one, I have something. I will, I will, I will voluntarily mention that there was no rhyme or reason to this song. It was just um, my guitar player was playing a tune in my kitchen one day, and I was like, keep playing that. I have an idea. And we just kind of put this song together, and it was just a fun song. I love oh. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Super, super cool how creativity happens sometimes and how it strikes. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Especially yeah. when you're working with other people. I don't know and, how you do it. I hate people. And, <laughs> I mean, and are you, <laughs> yeah, there's that, but. <laughs> are you, and are you still working? Uh, it's Nick, right? Are you still working with yeah, Nick? Yeah, he actually, he came back. So, you know, he disappeared. But he came- yeah, he got a girlfriend and disappeared. Yeah, as musicians do. <laughs> <laughs> they come together. We actually just batch. recorded a song last Saturday. Awesome, awesome. And so we're going to be putting that out within the next couple of weeks, but I'm really excited for that one. Oh, very cool. Okay. And here is When I Drink from uh, Katie Tidmore. Met a boy in Tennessee who said he'd like to follow me down to Alabama for a while. Stick his toes into the sand, the long forgotten promised land, and hold me like it's going out of style. And danced in the rain Not a hurricane could put out this flame I almost had forgotten about you 
When the liquor touched my lips, I tasted what I never thought I'd miss. Now, honey, poof, and lay it next to you. agree with uh, Maria with her question of uh, how is Katie not like hugely famous I have no idea <laughs> I agree hey I can't figure that out either her hooks are I mean right Julie like you always have a here for really absolutely, good hooks. absolutely amazing I mean like I was I, I, every single one of your songs I've ended up like singing along at the end because I'm like mm -hmm. to be on the radio thank you <laughs> It's so good. Yeah. Like, I don't even, um, it's not even my genre. Like, I'm not even, like, a normally a fan of your genre. And your music is just amazing. It's transcendent. I don't yeah. listen to the country, and I would listen to you all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yep. I'm still. <laughs> yeah. So um, my niece is always like, that's always stuck in my head, those oohs. Damn it. Why did you do those oohs? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I was like, I don't know. I just wanted to put them in there. She's like, they're always stuck in my damn head. Yeah. <laughs> in the best way. Because that usually means once it comes in as an earworm, like if I wake up singing yeah. a song, I have to go listen to it. So <laughs> it's a great way to get people listening to your music. <laughs> that is true. Um, just I song just told me the same thing. He was like, those oohs are so perfect. They are. And well, so and that's the thing is I saw I saw that Michael said that was his favorite song, and I was thinking Michael is a huge Ooh fan. Uh, no, I could have guessed that 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 would be his his favorite from Katie. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I, I'm waiting for the uh, halftime uh, show at the Super Bowl with the Katie as well. well DOA. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Well, you know, we're we, all going to hold our breath starting right now. Say, we've also been known to make um, our own halftime shows. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's always that. that possibility because, Absolutely. you know, we're not big yes. football watchers, but we do watch <laughs> the Ant Bowl. <laughs> That's very true. Very and true. I know, I know Pole Vault won't have given up on his ants by next year's um, Super Bowl. They'll probably have a full on UN 
by then. So <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't give up on the storyline easily. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Well, thank y'all so much for having me. I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. All right. I've had fun. Have it was night, beautiful, Katie. Katie. Bye, you have you. a fantastic uh, rest of your night. Great weekend and happy Easter. All thank that you. Stuff. Happy Easter. I love you all. Thank you for all the support. And thank you for letting me be part of this community. I'm going to be hitting you up saying if you give me some karaoke versions of your songs because I will <laughs> sing them. <laughs> Hey, I think on iTunes you can actually turn down my vocals and just have the music playing. Well, but if I go to your channel, then I'm playing oh, your that, song yeah, every time I sing that, it. That is true. I need to work on that, don't I? <laughs> no, I, 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 I had that idea that that's what it, indie artists should do. That is that make karaoke versions of their songs, mm -hmm. and then that way it can get into the karaoke community online. And then also, yes, anytime they're playing it and singing it, it's on your channel and it's mm -hmm. just another way to get it out there. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. It's a really good idea. Especially some of those, I mean, like the remakes be damned, but some of you can play like, okay, Sound of Silence by Disturbed is way better than the original Sound of Silence because it has like more relevancy, um, how they redid it. So even your, uh, yeah, okay, we're going to have our second argument here because I'm going to tell you that you are <laughs> okay, wrong. Well, I'm, I'm going to go to bed now. So. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mom, and, mom and dad are going to fight while you go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I got Easter egg hunts in the morning, okay? I can't right. deal with this shit. Love, <laughs> Love you, Katie. Right. We'll see well, you later. All right. Good <laughs> all right, lay it, lay it on me, Chad. I earned it. <laughs> Tell me, tell me. I mean, I'm not, no shade against Paul Simon. Paul Simon is one of my all-time favorites, but but the versions of the song, like it just doesn't speak to me emotionally the same way the Disturbed mm. song does. But the lyrics are spot on. Me and Dad actually got in this argument, um, <laughs> and then I showed him, and then I showed him. He was like, "There's no way that there's anything better than you know the original of that song." I said, "No, there." I is. don't. I don't connect with the the Disturbed, the Disturbed version. At all? I don't. I don't know why. Yeah, that's so, so. funny. Because oh, I love it. This disturbed. Yeah, and I loved I loved Disturbed's first album. So it's not like they're a band that I don't like. I do that's like right. them, but that sound of silence. No. Have you watched the video, Chad? Yeah, yeah. Of course know. he has. It no, me. <laughs> so, the funny thing is, I've shown my dad a lot of music over the years, and he's always been like, "Me, it's okay. Me, it's okay." <laughs> when I showed him for the first time, he like held my phone and just like stared at it the whole time. We were supposed to be doing a home inspection and he just stared at the phone and watched it. It was disturbed sound of silence. Now, speaking oh. of covers, <laughs> I don't know what happened with your mic here. You cut out. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah. sure. Bummer. I, I wasn't, I wasn't over talking. <laughs> you, your your like, mic went. like Ooh. hitting mute. He's like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> your mic cut out, Carrie. It's yeah. so weird. <laughs> so, so to tell you though, it, it, speaking of speaking of covers, uh, Scars and Shadows, I wanted to jump ahead to the cover that you sent me that you did because yes, absolutely phenomenal, um, and not at all like if you think you've heard Nights in White Satin, you haven't heard it until you heard the nobody uh, version. Nobody listens to it because I think it's like the original. It's not. <laughs> it's not it's nothing like it i like this song nights and nights and yeah, oh yeah the original is great yeah yeah, but, I yeah. I I changed oh it. what happened to you i'm so excited i can't wait is, is julie leaving or did she get oh she are you leaving there or you I dropped off no, I am having an emergency in the back room there. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, okay, I, I got so you. Sorry, I've got to, I've got to jump out, you guys. Oh, okay, no okay. problem. Okay. All right. I'm so sorry. I mean, to exit so, so fast. So <laughs> great to meet you. Uh, happy you were here oh, tonight. Thank you so, so. much, Julie. You guys, let yeah. us know when you release your next song. Okay. We'll do a field trip for you. Okay. Oh That's yeah. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't, uh, you know, uh, accidentally <laughs> yeah, yeah. bumped off and just hanging around backstage. Um, the zero killer didn't get her. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, that see, see, Carrie, we need to do, we need to get with scars, and we need to do that that show on serial killers. At some I have point, three so. songs on serial killers. Yeah, we'll have to do a serial killers and we have to do a witchy one too. Yes, yes, too. we do. We do. I'm sure Sunshine's probably in on for both of those as well. Yes. <laughs> True crime and witches, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> right next to rocks. That's my favorite thing. 
<laughs> All right. So, uh, Knights in White Satin by Scars and Shadow. Uh, are y'all ready for this? Because uh, that is what we are listening to now. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Don't apologize.
That was beautiful. Yeah, it's so good. Thank you, guys. That was amazing. And, and thank you, <clears throat> Carrie, for the uh, helpful uh, transition right into that song. Oh, uh, you're Talking welcome. about the sound of silence. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I, song. <laughs> I channeled it. <laughs> no, and, I had to crank it up on my external monitor speakers so that I could go make myself a sandwich or something because I'm hungry because mine you always cut the list. And sandwiches and avocados and now I'm like mm -hmm. so <laughs> I'll drink that <laughs> by the way I, lo I love those rabbit ears and the, I, I didn't notice that they blinked until just now I'm just noticing that <laughs> they just started blinking I think I don't think they've been blinking all along and those are Have they been ears. blinking? I think they've been blinking. <laughs> Have they? Oh, well, anyways. Cheers to the observant host. <laughs> we are here for well, you. Well, <laughs> you know, it's been a little crowded tonight. I mean, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I've totally neglected the chat all evening. So know, it's, been, it's been hard to keep up with. I mean, like doing some one handed typing and stuff. And it, <laughs> it really just ends up as an abysmal, unspelled mush mouth via the chat. But. I've been trying, <laughs> but uh, Chad, I, I wanted to. A, I was I'm sorry. Just go as ahead. A service to you, Chad. Uh, you have been mentioned in the chat recently, and Development of a Void says that you like peanut butter jelly avocado sandwich. Never <laughs> tried that. Never tried that. I love avocado. I love peanut butter, but I've never so tried maybe. them together. I hmm. super protein. I, I don't super. know if that'll work though. Um, you know what I do like? I don't know about the avocado on the peanut butter, but I like to put a nice layer of regular butter and then the peanut butter. Yep. I don't know about that either. Nope. It's it's not not you know what, though? Peanut butter. Okay. Peanut butter, hot sauce, and then the avocado. That might work. Hot sauce and peanut butter. Oh, hot sauce and peanut butter is good. I love hot sauce and peanut butter. <laughs> I would, in fact, actually forget the bread. Just put the avocado on a plate. <laughs> put some peanut butter on the plate and then put a hot sauce on top. Well, no, no, you got to put work. the peanut butter in the middle cuz your presentation is everything. Oh, sir. take take take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. So <laughs> you got to put scoop the peanut butter, the peanut in, the butter in the middle of the avocado. Well, yeah, cuz it kind of looked like the seed was put back in. It'd be a great little presentation too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just started plating food in my mind. I've worked as a cook for way too many years to not start thinking about that. <laughs> I'm like, if we're gonna if we're gonna do it, Chad, you gotta do it right. <laughs> and then make sure you do the hot sauce and dots around it. You know? No, not that. How, don't don't go that. That's how fancy the, people do it, and then and the, then you do the little schmear thing. No, I don't don't go that far. Don't go that far. No. I do. I do. Even when I'm just eating by myself, I'm like, presentation. <laughs> uh, it's a disease. So, I used to so, joke. I used to joke I was going to cater my own funeral, so I would have to like put stuff away into the freezer for people to pull out for my funeral because nobody else was going to cater. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I might I still Michael do it. Songs for a uh, an apple, you know, an apple. He brings mm -hmm. me a plate all sliced and like laid out with like a little dollop of peanut butter in the middle. Dude, I got you. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every time. You just want, no, you can't just have an apple. That's boring, and they have to do all the work of like. No, you got to fan it out. The most <laughs> I'll the most I'll do is like draw a, a smiley face with mustard <laughs> uh, for a sandwich, and then serve it open faced. So <laughs> I'm not cutting up no apple and putting you know peanut butter. I'd probably do an apple and then a little, like, do a little homemade caramel sauce to kind of put there, too, because caramel wow. sauce is really fast to whip up and then just give that a little, like, drizzle. <laughs> a snack is never a snack with Carrie. <laughs> I wanted to go back to this comment that Maria had said about, um, oh, boy. It, well, you, you are, are completely accurate with the incredible talent, but at the same time, you are somebody who is a, a part of this community and you are a such yep. a positive uh, person and um, you know we know that you are doing so much work behind the scenes for uh, Michael songs um, and in fact <laughs> funny story 
Povog comes into the to the stream before sunshine and he sets up the the lights and the projection in the background and he's like oh how's the sound and this that and the other and he's like he's like oh this must be how um how how michael feels uh, i'm playing the part of maria <laughs> setting up for uh, sunshine and then michael just comes in and is like oh i'm here to play <laughs> He gets to be a rock star. Yes. <laughs> That's always why I say hello to Michael and Maria. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm glad you pinned that comment because I didn't see it. And, and you're so right. Maria is very talented. So I'm glad that she's here. Yes, well, exactly. And, and and such a wonderful, positive soul. That's, you know, I, I love that. Um, it, you know, I think like minds uh and like um wavelengths always attract and are always uh you know reconnecting and so uh, everybody that's been on this panel tonight is very much in that same you know uh, complement state of mind. vibe yeah exactly we're not the same yeah. but we complement <laughs> yeah there you go there you go and I yeah. am and have always been such <clears throat> a huge fan and admirer and supporter of Musicians, I feel like half my credit card debt is due to musicians in my life. <laughs> Not because they spent your money, but because you voluntarily spent their money on them? Or have you just oh, dated yeah, a lot of musicians? Like, because that could be a problem stuff. on credit card ratings, too, dating oh, musicians. No, they stuff. And I was like, oh, you need a CD? I'll make a CD. You need somebody to, you know, make all your stuff? I'll do that. There you go. Um, you need somebody you know, to help with the production of the Women's Day Conference that we're going to have next year. <laughs> yes. He's your lady. Yes. yes. I just feel like, you know, and I've told Michael this many times. I'm like, I want to just be wealthy enough that I can work and do what I love to do. And all he has to do is make music. Like, that would be my dream. Right. So, you know, I think that musicians should have that. They used to have that back in the day. They would have like people would support them and they could just do what they do because it is a talent like it is a right. really special thing. That's a divine gift that not yeah. everybody can do. So. Right. Absolutely. I would be a roadie named Bart all day long. <laughs> <laughs> just change my name to Bart. I'm here for it. <laughs> I don't know about a groupie, but I would be a roadie <laughs> all day. I will haul your equipment. Around. I'm a stout stock, stout German stock, okay? That's funny. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the hard parts, though, like being a woman and hanging out with bands and being a supporter of them, it's, you, you often get like, oh, you're a groupie. And it's like, no. No. Okay. <laughs> Call me Bart. I'm the bitch that fucking makes this shit happen. <laughs> right. right. We need to get you a shirt that says that, Maria. Yes. I'm the one that makes things happen. Slobberjaw says that's Bart discrimination. <laughs> you know? And, like, nothing against groupies. Like, everybody has a role in this world. But, like... <laughs> right. It is a job. It's legitimately a job. We all work. got to keep musicians happy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> Release that tension, uh, etc. It'll make my job easier. I'm cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm here for that mentality. I'm here for that. I'm here for it. I can I can support it. <laughs> so long as it's voluntary and you don't have somebody pimping you out, then you're fine. Oh yeah, I'll consent all the way for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man they'll probably make more music this conversation like, took a turn <laughs> Did it though? <laughs> I think this is a pretty logical trajectory for four and a half hours totally totally so of course we're going to start talking about the um, the workers rights of groupies <laughs> We should form a groupie union. <laughs> Get some standardization across the board here. <laughs> so I am going to go to a, uh, a, a song from uh, Liz a Day uh, family. Uh, she uh, premiered this on Jade's yesterday. But uh, if you missed it, fantastic song. This was a, a video that uh, she was uh, requesting people to send in images. Uh, 
I send in my images. I'm in the video. Chris Lane's in the video. Um, Jade's in the video. Um, I, I, I'm not quite sure if there are too many other uh, familiar faces in the video, but uh, it's a great video. A lot of work. Uh, you can tell editing it. Uh, fantastic song. Basically about everybody and how we are just, you know, one big family. We are all connected. Um, so I'm going to go to that right now. Uh, family from Liz a Day. We are, we are, we are, we are. 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 Sister, brother, father, mother. Awesome. Yeah, that Liz the Day cool. is so great. She really mm -hmm. is. And and wait till she starts streaming live on YouTube because uh, her live streams are absolutely electrifying. They really, really are. And and she's just I've, I'm lucky enough to see a, a, one of her private uh, Facebook uh, streams because that's mostly what she's been doing here lately. She's just so so good. That was incredible. That was amazing. So good. Yeah. I agree. And what it a was cool really concept. good. I forgot to comment about it in the chat section, though, because I, I, I think I talked about food the entire song, but it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm probably going to head out pretty soon. I'm starving. I got off work and got straight on here, and it's... Uh... <laughs> I was gonna say, we <laughs> might have to wrap this up. <laughs> and and we're, we're definitely, uh, you know, we're... we're, we're we're almost five hours in. We can definitely, we don't have to go any certain amount of time. So um, why don't we uh, go to another track then from you, Sunshine? Um, were we going to go to Rabbit Hole? Or? Yeah, you can do it. I <laughs> wasn't prepared earlier because it's, it's just kind of like a sad, depressing song. And I just, I don't know. <laughs> I was, a uh, whenever, when I made, when I went to go make a song that particular week, there was a um, <clears throat> a patient that I had taken care of for a year that had passed away that week, mm. and then uh, also uh, they were terminally ill, and so it was. But still, anyway. Um, birds. And then uh, also had lost a really good friend that week, and a pet of mine died. <laughs> so mm. I was just really 
struggling and um this is what came out so <laughs> gotcha yeah yeah well, that'd be so all much right fun. so i'm 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 okay now but just yeah all right well here is rabbit hole from sunshine archer
So great. So good. I think what I need from <laughs> I think what I need from Sunshine and Pool Vault is a full meditation album. <laughs> well, we kind of have something coming out kind of like that. Yeah. I, We've been working on it, so less scary videos so I can like watch it while I'm falling asleep or I meditate. <laughs> well, these are these not there. scary videos. These are just real like really chill, you know. Okay. <laughs> Let me just make myself clear. Some of your videos I could not watch before bed. I have to watch in the morning, so I have the whole day to cleanse my palate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Again, again, and I was saying this earlier, but we were having the echo. I, I love how you will let the image play and then let the, the sound fade out. And then it, it, it kind of, you see this visual and then you're, you're it, it's like you're left kind of stewing in, what you've seen and what you heard it's almost like watching the end credits on a movie that's what i always feel like every time when i'm watching your videos well thank you you know i think we can be friends again chad because i hate when people don't watch the end credits and with some of these streaming services where they start like popping other stuff up oh i hate credits, that I i'm hate like that. stop it i want to watch yes. Dancing guys. I get so mad at Netflix. I'm like, I wanted to watch that. And it's like, boop, on to the next thing. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm still like vibing. Like, I got to like sit yeah. in it for a minute, yo. Yeah. And I'm sorry, Maria, you were saying something? Oh, I was saying that uh, you could also watch the videos and not like watch them, just listen to them. But regarding the end credits thing, <laughs> That yeah, was like five minutes ago. The, um, <laughs> no, Netflix, it's fine. I'm here. <laughs> Netflix and many other services have a like in the settings you can turn off the autoplay bits. Yeah. So sometimes you can tweak that, but I agree. I'm with you. I'm like watch credits. Click. Yeah. <laughs> I always right. like to figure out who the best boy is. You know, like, <laughs> it's about that role. It's just like. That's is the best boy. Awesome <laughs> man. It's not something with like sound or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I just thought it was funny. Grip, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm one of those people that I, I, I will sit in the theater and, and let the credits roll and you know, just kind of soak it in and then once they turn the lights on and the people are sweeping, that's when I get up and leave. So but it's also easy me. to get out of the damn parking lot at that point. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> See if anybody dropped their wallet. You know, it's uh -huh. useful. Useful to hang out. <laughs> no, I got a cool pair of sunglasses out of a movie theater once. <laughs> it, it, it pays to be the last one out of the theater. <laughs> so, so sunshine, you were gonna take off. You were saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm starving. I'm withering yeah. away into nothing <laughs> as we speak. Well, <laughs> and, and, and Paul Walden as well. <laughs> very much appreciate you for coming on tonight. And your stream has done phenomenal as far as viewers. Most of the party has been over there tonight. So, you know, streaming uh, solo on your channel, you're you're going to do amazing. Well, so thank I you. I, I'm not even aware of any of that. I'm just, <laughs> just here. <laughs> I'm just here hanging out, having a good time. And I really, I so much appreciate y'all for having me. Not tough, I really sweetie. enjoyed seeing everybody, people that are gone, people that are still here. <laughs> yeah, I love all of you. It's so, much, so fun. 
go feed pole so, vault some protein. He's probably <laughs> eaten a diabetic coma's worth of sugary cereal by now. So <laughs> probably <laughs> <ready> for that. <laughs> well, at least if he ate it, he's not going to pour it on me. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so well, much, you, everybody. You <laughs> have a good night and happy yeah. weekend and have a happy Easter. And uh, we will see you soon. Okay. Bye, everybody. Good All night, honey. Right. <laughs> oh, well, this has been so fun, y'all. It, it, it has. Rios, it has. Meeting you and Scars and Shadows. I, we need to get together and have a little personal meeting, you and I. I need to do your human design chart. I think it would be useful. <laughs> I think it'd be useful for you. Oh my God, it would be such a challenge for you. <laughs> so long as you know where you were born and the time, I can do it. I do, Smart but it would fuck your I brain know. up. <laughs> no, it won't. I'm, 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 I might she, look like sunshine and flowers, but I'm tougher than you think. <laughs> she, she, she did this to me just this what Monday, and I was like, what, what, what is this? And also, like, it was so accurate what she was saying. I was like, mind blown. So, well, I'm like scared with my history. <laughs> yeah. I have channeled some stuff. You can't scare me. <laughs> you just can't. There's nothing scary about it. But yeah, get a hold of me. Um, I'll stick my okay. Okay. contact information here. Send right. it to me. Send it to my email. Oh, well, okay. If you want. <laughs> Put your email in the private chat so I can just copy and paste. I'll because... just say it. R at W-O-H dot R-R dot com. I can't do that. I have ADHD. Like I already switched I all can, of those I so can, many letters. I can email you, and I can email you. I, I'll I'll email y'all both. Secretary, <laughs> will you take care of this, please? Put us in a little email chain, the three of us, so we can. Because I'm all... telling you, I'm a I'm a dark soul. You don't want it. You don't want to read me. That's a really great story. All right, so dark soul. <laughs> I'm a dark soul. It's a great dark, story. I... Dark I'm soul. A broke... Okay, let me rephrase. I'm a broken soul, not a dark soul. I'm a broken soul. But I find comfort in the darkness. I was going to say, there's there's not necessarily bad yeah. when it comes yeah, to embracing I'm broken. the shadow. We're, I'm we're, broken. We're, we're, we're all broken in our own ways. Though. And I'm proud I mean, to be broken. Are. Yeah. So. Um, hurt, but not broken. You're, you might be hurt, but you're not yeah. broken. So, so why don't why don't we do this? Why don't we go to a uh, another video from you, Scars and Shadows, and then uh, come back, say goodbye, and then I'll play us out with uh, something from either Tabitha. Somebody or... uplifting. <laughs> uplifting. Um... <laughs> no, we'll I'll, I'll work on that. We're so, gonna emo um, it out. We're gonna just emo this this channel right on out. We'll do so, something uplifting next time. <laughs> so. Being different is not a bad thing, or sweetest shadow, or crybaby. Which which one? To the being different is not a bad thing. I feel like a splinter is the name of the song, but I put being different is not a bad thing in the title. Oh, okay, I got but you. The song's I, called "I Feel Like a Splinter." Oh, I thought that was like the the. Um, you know. It was my creative way of saying, "Hey, listen to this song," but nobody did. <laughs> I I thought this. I thought the title was "Being Different" is not a bad thing. I feel just like a splinter. I thought that was the full title. No, so. the full the, the song's called "I Feel Like a Splinter." I got gotcha. you. Okay. Standing at a broken phone booth with a quarter in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I love that song too. <laughs> I love that song. I've been downhearted, babe. I've been down, I've been downhearted, babe. God, thank Ever you, honey, so much. Oh, you you are amazing. I Absolutely love it. you and everything you do. Thank um, you, everybody. So, I love you guys. So I feel just like a splinter by Scars and Shadow. We are gonna come back after this and then say here. say say goodbye and all that stuff. So um here we and go. And I wanna know
Yay. I love those trees. I love trees. Yeah. I do too. The name of my Etsy store is Rocks and Roots, and it's because I do a lot of tree stuff. <laughs> Grounding. Nice. Grounding. Yeah, that's, nice. that's the whole point of it, really. Yeah. Let me grab it. So I have had so much fun tonight. This has been so great. This is my oh, art. Oh, I love that. It's so pretty. I do. So it's got like the Hold epoxy on. bottom. I don't know if I'm going to see it. Very pretty. Oh, cool. What crystals do you have on it? I see jade. Um, Actually, that's adventuring. Adventuring, okay. Yeah, it's got some dragon's blood on there. It's got some um, chrysocolla. It's got a little, a little bit of everything. Is there okay. amethyst? Um, did I put amethyst on this one? Uh, yeah, there is a little bit of amethyst on here. Not much, but a little bit. Lots of labradorite. Lost so, so you Very you make pretty. those and you you sell them? I'm well, I'm building up my stock, but yeah. Okay. I don't know if you can see in there. I had to kind of refine my epoxy um, process because uh, turns out epoxy breaks glass because I was putting them in really cool glass vessels, but it didn't work out so good. Oh, my bacon's burning. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to wrap things up. Um, before we do, I wanted to mention um, tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern, um, this is the uh, third volume of The Ham Celebrates Women Artists. I'm doing a, a playlist of nothing but women artists. All the artists um, that have been on the uh, panel tonight will be on there, as well as many other wonderful... Uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember. I think it's like a playlist of 40... I don't know. It may have it may have ballooned up to forty five uh, videos. So it's going to be a fantastic show. Um, nothing but uh, you know, great artist after another. Oh, that is super cool. Her all seeing eye. It's a dragon eyeball. Oh, that with is a, super with cool. A, with a woman standing in it. Cool. Yeah. That in her is power super pose. Cool. What is what is your Etsy uh, store? Well, I haven't launched it yet, but I'm working on it. Oh, okay. Mom. Um, so we'll be building up to that. But I did that with uh, acrylic paint, wood burning, and then, yeah, stained it, coated it it's with really epoxy. Great. So it's nice and hard. And then my other dragon. This one I really like. I like that too. It's pretty. Wood burning. That's cool. Yeah. Wait, wait, oh, run right away. There we go. You you should do some streams while you're like working on some of this stuff. I have a That'd bunch of recordings. Really I just haven't up. I just haven't edited it because it's a lot of hours of <laughs> to, you gotta have to right. it time consuming. narrow it down to the, the bullet yeah. points, you know, but I, I've been recording it as I make them, so you know, for the most nice. part. Wood burning is a bitch. That is a hard art form, y'all. I know. Video editing is no joke either. No, uh, it's not. <laughs> I I love editing. I love video Good, editing. I'll send my shit to you. Do you have a Dropbox? You're gonna get it full. I'll be like, I, lo I also it out. love video editing. It is, a, it, is a, it, 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 it is it is tedious and time consuming, but, it, but it's, it's so fun. fun. Yeah, it is. It's it is so fun. I get. So. I just get too far into the weeds with it. Hour of video editing per one minute of video is pretty accurate. Yeah, I, that makes sense. But I get I get too into the weeds, and then I get like too far away from. Just picking a font takes me mm. like five hours. Okay, so like, <laughs> <laughs> like some things need to just be like not my decision. Like I need somebody to like just interpret what they see and put the best thing there, and I'll love it because I always do. But like, <laughs> I really. <laughs> I take myself on a trip and whenever I'm creating anything, it's, it's not as fun as making these things. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. I like to, I don't know. I feel like if I mess up here, I can tweak it and I still end up with a finished product. There's times when I get too far off base with um, editing stuff or creating stuff digitally that I just have to scrap it and start over. Mm -hmm. And that like, it's just, it's not the same for me. It feels like an open loop and I don't like that. Right. <laughs> Well, we are going to wrap things up. So is there anything that you want to 
say to the audience or any of the people on the panel or anybody that's been on the panel today? I'd uh, like to say something. Shockingly, I think I've said it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Scars. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, a lot of people have been really good to me, and I really appreciate it. Um, I was ready to give up, and I, a few people made me not, and I'm grateful that I didn't because I met a lot of new, nice, really great people, and I'm grateful for that. So thank you. Well, you are absolutely wonderful. We Thank love you. you. And uh, yeah, so, <laughs> so, 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 so happy you, you so did that. not give up. Oh, magic. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't have mine set up to do that. I don't, have my, I don't think mine yeah, will do that. <laughs> do, do that again. We want the magic. Bring the. <laughs> my magic. My magic is hidden. <laughs> oh man! Well, I I wanted to say that I'm I'm just so thankful for all of the amazing people that took part in this uh, show tonight. It's been so much fun, and uh, thank you, for, Carrie, for for being a part of it, and you know, joining me on um, who knows what with streaming in the future. We're uh Ooh. doing our first episode of uh official episode of uh green eggs and ham on uh sunday night <laughs> i'm and green so... eggs he's ham i've discovered the center cut bacon which makes the best blts because it's like that big piece <laughs> So I've been vegetarian for 25 years. I don't even know what that is. Oh, well, okay. So I also have some really great vegetarian recipes because I, I I do all sorts of food. Yeah, like oh. like avocado and uh, peanut butter that uh, the UA told us about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got some great tricks for some. Um, I used to work at a health food store as the deli manager, and we would do pretender burgers. Yeah. So I mean, like I've 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 done I've done every food that you can think of as an alternative in vegetarian, but without like trying to fake meat it, you know, or to over soy it. Mm -hmm. I have this thing about vegetarians and variety. Y'all need to eat less soy and more other combinations, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like yeah. just because it says, you know, fake you know, chicken nuggets doesn't mean you should have that because it's all made out of the same stuff. They just pack it into different shapes. <laughs> My right. favorite milk is banana milk. Because I think Ooh. we get too much soy. So like soy milk, it's like we get, and oat milk's a big old conspiracy. But banana milk is delicious. I've never had banana milk. I've never had. I, banana I need milk. to try that. Peanut butter and jelly, Chad. I need to have some it banana milk. Would be excellent milk. with some banana milk. Because I, I love almond milk. But I've never tried uh, banana milk. That sounds good. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, really no you're not supposed either, to call it good. no like added sugar. Right. You're not supposed to call it almond milk. Okay, the dairy farmers don't like that. It's oh. it's nut juice. It's supposed <laughs> to be nut juice, juice okay? Because yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just marketing for juice. you. <laughs> yeah. um, Chad, you had asked if uh, we had any. Can I, can I add something real quick? I just want to yeah. say, first of all, Chad, you're incredible. You put together these shows. I was looking <laughs> over your like list of future shows. I don't know how you keep it all straight. You are just like a madhouse of like production and organization like, organization because it's not just like you're not just like making these shows like you're interacting with people i can't imagine like i managed a band with like six guys in it once and like that was my limit i was like that's it six musicians at a time you're like hundreds i don't know how you do it so bravo to you chad and also bravo mm -hmm. to you for inviting me um to this like to, to know that there's production people behind the scenes and it's not just the people that you see in front of the camera. Right. It's also the people you see act, like outside and behind right. the camera anyway. Um, you're the yeah. scaffolding. You we the scaffolding. know you're a goddess. The scaffolding yes, that yes. holds everybody up. <laughs> Maria, <laughs> Maria is Wonder Woman. And she, I've seen photos to prove that she actually is Wonder Woman. So, uh, <laughs> she really is. She's Wonder Woman. So. I can't wait. She, she is the staple of what National Women's Month is. <laughs> just saying. Oh, oh my gosh, that means so much. Thank you. I, uh, I just, I'm just here to support other people. Like I just, like I said, you guys do the awesome stuff. I'm just. 
There's no you one. You do too, I, though. You do she too, does music. Though. We're here. <laughs> I just we're, 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 yeah, we just, we're just the here to support and do yeah. what we can. <laughs> we're just here to scaffold, too. Do you want to hear how badly I strum the ukulele? Because I will prove to you I'm not a musician. <laughs> I what did I say? Uh, Catherine McPhee earlier about Christine McPhee. Yes, like, yes. I have but problems. but the thing McPhee. is, is that the thing is, is that I thought you were actually talking about her from American Idol. So oh, I was I like, okay, I didn't American realize Idol. she was with Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood I didn't, Mac. When did that happen? <laughs> like, what, baby, maybe. <laughs> She's a young little thing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> your heart was in the right place <laughs> yes yes <laughs> so and all in alignment <laughs> so so i i did want to say thank you carrie for being <laughs> co-host tonight and um uh, i did want to thank, thank all you, the people Chad. that were on the panel thank uh, you, of course Chad. katie tidmore and scars and shadows and uh julia stone williams thank you so much carrie for um you know, uh, introducing me to her and <laughs> inviting her, her uh, to be a part and of this. Liz a day. Liz a day and yeah, Sid Carter them. West, uh, yes. Tabitha Rains, uh, Sunshine Archer, and of course you, Maria. Um, a big, big fan of, of, of you. You're a fantastic person. And, uh, you know, um, it's not only me that knows how much you actually do. Uh, we all see it. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I guess we I should own support. the fact that Michael I am a singer. I, <laughs> Michael and I love um, doing the music because it's like, obviously he loves making the music and I love doing the stuff that I do, but having you all, everybody here that's in the chat, all the replay people, all the lurkers, like having you guys here to support um, us and all the musicians in this community, it's incredible. It really right. is much appreciated. So thank you. I need to make a shout out to people like Pookie Ann, oh, Allie, yeah. Yeah. and those who don't do music but support us. Much love. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, po po Pookie so Ann is, is the best. Queenie. She is. There's yeah. so many. Rebel yeah. Rocker, there's so many. I, I see out there, out there right now. I see Pindar, who's absolutely fantastic. Pindar uh, performs. I want to see her. She's in Ohio. I'm like, where are you? I went back to Ohio. Do my pretty countryside. <laughs> down the middle by government. No so we are going to go out with uh, a Michael songs. Uh, video and this is one that Maria uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the production of the the video or the song or what all you've uh, done cool so uh, Michael songs uh, last year and this year uh, put in a video for the NPR tiny desk concert contest. <gasps> how cool and yeah and uh so i you know and like you want to make it look good right it's npr mm -hmm. like you don't want to just be like eh, whatever right um, so it's a little stressful so we got together and we decided what it was going to look like and where things were going to go and i was like okay stand here sit here do this do that and i moved the camera around and i'm covered in sweat and like stress <laughs> and everything. um and he actually chose a different song <laughs> and ran through that a couple times and it just wasn't working. So um, he played this one kind of like to shake off the like ick from the other one. You know, like sometimes yeah. you just gotta like switch gears for a minute and come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and this I feel that. And this take was so good. And I was like, oh man, that's perfect. And he's like, really? And I was like, yeah, dude, that's the song. F that other one. Um, <laughs> was it was the other song, the pancake song? <laughs> That shall remain a secret. Um, but <laughs> he was, um, I think he was a little bit relieved because like it was so stressful. So mm -hmm. part of my job in production is also a little like therapeutic work as well with mm -hmm. musicians. Uh, right. It can get stressful. I can't imagine. You got this, babe. Me. You've got this. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, it's like three in the morning and you're like just exhausted and you're covered in dust and in hair and sweat and not the good kind, you know. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we, and then also once the video is filmed, then you have to go in and edit it and make sure that, you know, it's cropped and trimmed. Um, mm -hmm. I did the camera work, so you'll see the famous Maria's Martin cam, trademark Maria's Martin cam. Um, <laughs> you'll see that in there. And then uh, we, for this video, we added like titles and graphics and things like that. Right. So 
uh, we work together on those things. Um, but yeah, I do. I do a majority of the perfecting of them. Right. I love it. Yeah. And you know when to scrap something and go with a good thing when you see it, not get too attached to it. I think that's a huge talent when people invest in, in the effort, the sweat, like you said, but to still be able to maintain that perspective and be like, nope, we might have worked right. really hard over here, but this is where the money is. And sometimes yeah. you almost have to, you have to do that thing that you scrap <laughs> in order to get to the good thing. Right. So that's just right. something right. else. Right. Yeah. You and, get that emotion, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then sometimes it's so hard to let that go because you're like, oh, I've done this so, you know, so much time and energy and effort into this. It's got to be this. But yeah, sometimes you just got to move forward with the uh, other option. So. Yeah, same thing. I see chefs do the same thing with cooking where they get too caught up in the the details and they realize that just a really good bowl of peasant food actually <laughs> like speak volumes. You know, like you can get as fancy as you want, but if you can't comfort people with your food, it's that's mm -hmm. you're feeding people and they eat with more than just their face hole. So <laughs> music and food have that in common. Yep. Right? Your face hole. Your ear hole. Right. Face hole, yep. earballs. Yeah. So no, and and that's true. F food always comes up in any of these like streams when you get a panel it together. Does. There's always food when it's you know talking about music. They 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 are intertwined in a lot of ways. For me, mm -hmm. movies are also in there. Now for everybody, it's not. But this same thing. I mean, uh, that's your eye hose and your ear hose. Uh, <laughs> and then if you're eating popcorn, it's your you know your your mouth hole as well. So as long as it's not your butt oh we're okay <laughs> there's a time and a place there's a time and a place maybe not you know all at the same that's, time that's when you, that's that's when you're at a Gigi allen concert so yeah. that's when that comes into play <laughs> as long as there's some buttholes involved with my food that's cool. exactly <laughs> just went south real fast <laughs> uh, uh, okay so turns out we start talking about butts at five hours hours and 33 minutes so we're gonna have to stop before that it was either food or buttholes right <laughs> in one end out the other <laughs> exactly so it's like music it's a fleeting moment <laughs> so we're gonna go out with the line from uh, michael songs um and uh everybody have a great rest of your night <laughs> great weekend i'll be live tomorrow 4 p.m eastern uh with the the women's uh celebration of the ham show um and what's and happening on sunday chad sunday is green eggs and ham with the uh, carrie uh 10 p.m eastern green and eggs so and ham really yes yep. Yes. That's going to be a great time. And uh, we do your we, official breakfast for dinner day. <laughs> we uh, I, I do unboxings on there. And then we, we look at uh, not only indie music, but also national music. We do like um, music reactions. So um, who knows what she made me watch Taylor Swift this last. I was going to uh, say show. it's going to get real interesting <laughs> because he's going to have to get me back for the Taylor Swift thing. <laughs> <laughs> So there might be a little bit of um, vindictiveness, but all in good yeah. fun. Yes. <laughs> and Michael Songs um, also goes live on Sundays too at twelve noon Eastern. Yes, okay. yes, Perfect. always. Because I, I I I start my work at twelve thirty, so Michael Song starts my uh, Sunday uh, on a positive note before I have to actually clock in. So. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's great. We love having you there, Chad. It's always great to see your name pop up in the chat. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, Aww. big, big love to all of you here, everybody that was a part of this, everybody in the chat. Um, love everybody have a fantastic uh, the real just weekend day. ahead. Thank you. Yeah, so, said hi, Gloria. Here we go <laughs> with the line from Michael Good night. Songs. There we go. Night. Bye, everybody. Night. Will you paint?
Put up for free. 